Mantis, don't worry, I'm not interested in your egg shaped boyfriend. Um, well, they, I mean, no, that is I'm not. Really. I'm not I, <laughs> If I'm ever in the situation, then yeah, I wouldn't have a right to spring out over okay, it. Okay, first off, uh, like, uh, if we're just gonna be honest, look, I, Sulfur's not in my fucking league, okay? Let's all just be honest for a second. The white trash fuck on the internet is not in my fucking league. Again, so I'm gonna write, I don't care. Listen, Sulfur <laughs> is a, a, a better looking man is by most people's standards. That's just... Yeah, because I don't put up with, I don't put up with slimy mother I don't shut don't my mouth and take anybody. it up the ass like Rizzy. I don't, don't do that shit. I, I call out people like you. You're a slimy Ooh. scum. How many people listen to you, though? I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Route one, I called you a slimy scum fuck because of the shit you're saying. Why are you calling me drunk? That has nothing to do with anything. You're just being- You sound drunk. Because you're a f***ing retard. Okay. <laughs> 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 Emery just tags in with the steel chair, hits Mantis oh in the back of the head, God. tags back out. <laughs> hold on, <laughs> hold on. Hey, Mantis, <laughs> stop talking. <laughs> Mantis, stop. Stop. What? Uh, what? what, what, what uh, cause I, I'm doing it to everybody now. Shut up. I'm going to start muting people. Answer the question. No. He, Smith said you. So hold on. Joe. Shut up. Smith said. Smith. I don't care. I don't care. Smith said. I don't care. Smith said. Keep running. Well, I'm sorry, but once somebody has false. No, no, no. No, no, no. no. Once somebody has false me to me, that fuck. I don't give a fuck how I talk about her. Once she has false me to me and is that big of a piece of shit, I have all the right to talk about her because she is the lowest piece of scum that has ever existed. And this is part of my public reputation is that I will push back against people who are false me tooing people and the rest of you guys will kind of like, you know, play these gray zones and shit like that. I'm telling you, I wouldn't even rip her and you guys are getting upset about it. And I'm saying I'm not going to rip her. Right, what I'm saying is, is that in both instances, whether it's drunk on infatuation or drunk on alcohol, I find those to be fairly similar. Somebody's going to act outside of rational means. You know, if they're into somebody and they think there's, even though the person said there's no hope, they see the light at the end of the tunnel, they're going to go on that vacation with <laughs> with kid, uh, then that person's going to act in a predictable manner. 99 times out of 100, they're going to, if they say they can be friends, they can't. And you just learn eventually you can't let that person, that person can't make that decision. They're in I, I, I don't think so. I think uh, if you control your mental faculties, it's your responsibility as an adult to control your emotions and, you know, just, make rational decisions. Well, do you think that you are able to do that? Um, you don't think you're drawn by any sort of, anything in the world doesn't, Hunger, no, of, thirst. No, of, cor of course. No, of course. Those things like influence you. Like your, uh, you know, your emotions. They influence influence your state of mind, but not in the same way as like alcohol or substances inhibit your decision making abilities. It's just not the same. Uh, and I think you could argue. Sorry, my mic was muted. Uh, do you have lore on this person, the hellbent person? Um. Do you know anything beyond no, their like Russian? Me. Yeah, no worries. They're like a artist person that flies around like comedy community. So. Okay. Do uh -huh. you have? Like, a moral huh? obligation no, to not, not exploit much. that attraction in any way, but I don't think it's the same as, uh, you know, legal consent at all. Well, yeah, that's why it's an analogy, right? Well, otherwise it'd be the one. same. <laughs> that's fair enough. So what I'm saying is that if in either scenario, the commonality between the two traits or the, the two traits that are the same as the inhibitions are lowered or raised, whatever they are, they're going to be at an altered state. Then if you were to catch that person without the altercation to if like when I'm hungry, I'm going to be a little bit more edgy. I'm going to be a bit more quick to like fire off and shit on somebody and when i know somebody hasn't eaten in a while i'm not going to take it to heart because i'm going to act i'm going to take in that information with the knowledge i have that that person may be not coming or coming in anger because of anything but their empty stomach yes okay, but now you you're just talking about some sort of that... influence and that's kind of the problem is that like where you're including any influence at all that's very different whereas normally we, we start I get, calling something that gets more out of somebody who's hungry just right? you can that's not but that's not that doesn't matter you can get people to pay for food too yes. and when they could just grow food in their backyard yet yet when they're hungry and they're out uh you know driving around now they'll just pay you for it but that's that's part of like yes enticing people into doing things they may not do otherwise but as long as you're not doing it through deceptive means and you're not misleading them we wouldn't say that you did anything wrong so you would, so both of you would feel totally okay with somebody who you just informed one time said, "Look, we've got to be friends." And but could we take this situation specifically to like fan girls and uh, specifically kind of streamers? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. what I'm doing. So in this in this scenario, right, is that somebody a fan girl is wants to you know wants to wants to ride that mustache, Tom, uh, but she can't because you have a girlfriend. So you tell her, "Look, we got to be friends." And she's you can tell she starts she's continuing to buy you things and dropping all the hints that she is clearly holding out hope. You know it. And do you think the words you say matter? Either of you. Like, what are you, what are you saying is the responsibility of, I guess, Tom in this scenario? I, I, so I'm you, saying that yes, it matters, your head, but you, you just can't be deceptive. Well, so you can, so I think that's a different position than Hellbent. I think Hellbent has a position that you can't exploit somebody. Is that correct? No, I'm just trying I, to understand the scenario here. Like, um, if you say like, well, you have a, you have a moral responsibility to, I don't know, uh, refuse the gifts or, uh, you know, don't, not talk to them at all. Or, cause like, I'm trying to understand specifically what kind of scenario you're talking about. So yeah, let's say there's a fan girl. She told you, you're, uh, she told the take home. Uh, she's into him. He said no can do, but they keep interacting. She is still keen. So what is the the issue? What is the responsibility? I don't understand. Yeah. So uh, there, it's it's 
uh, I, a lot of the analogies drawn are very extreme, but I think it's much more subtle. So if a girl would normally not take it in the ass, she may take it in the ass because you're, you know, hot stream. Can we stop with analogies, though? Because, like, I'm just confused. Uh, so, for example, if <laughs> I don't want to fuck Tom, so I don't know how I wouldn't analogize it. Well, she's uh, saying, like, she needs some sort of, like, moral principle that actually, like, uh, okay, actually okay, let me, let me, let me say this. For example, in, if in the scenario you just described, if Tom was like, okay, can you send me news, you know, like, one night, even though uh, he already told this person. I think conflating it with the set stuff makes it much more difficult for people to conceptualize. Um, I think just, like, I like Tom's... I was romantically interested in Tom, so I traded uh, labor for, like, continuing to pursue that romantic interest, is just the idea. And Tom has made it clear there's no no amount of any labor that I could do that would change it, but, she, but Sass kept pursuing over and over and over again. And that's where, like, the, the conflict comes into play. It, it, you shouldn't do this actual, like, the actual... So I'm not interested in you, um, but he knows they're still keen, and then one night he feels free skin, he's like, yeah, send me nudes. That would be uh, immoral, sure. That would be exploitative, because he knows probably this person would send them nudes because they're into him, sure. But okay, otherwise... Well, like... well, so accepting, I think the first example, and the one I've kind of stuck with is, I think a big one is accepting gifts from somebody who is mm -hmm. clearly infatuated with you, and no matter, I mean, you can say all you want, if somebody's infatuated with you, they're going to continue to come on you unless you just disengage. I mean, that, I don't, I, I can't imagine you guys would disagree with that, right? Yeah. I, I, I do disagree with that, yes, obviously. Wait, hold on. You guys said opposite things. So. Oh. <laughs> no, we both said the same thing. We, she said, you said, I can't imagine you guys would disagree with that. She said, yeah. I said, yeah. We I both said disagree. I don't disagree. Yeah. Oh, you don't, don't disagree. disagree. Yeah. Okay, so I'm saying that, yes, if somebody's infatuated with me and they want to buy me a bunch of gifts, as long as I tell them I'm not interested in them, it, it, as long as that's the case. If I'm interested in them and I don't know and I'm waiting around to figure it out as well, then it is what it is. But if I'm not interested in them whatsoever, I know I'm not interested in them and I'm not going to be. As long as I tell them that in the beginning, they can buy me, they can spend millions of dollars on me and there's no like responsibility on me to, to turn that down. Yeah, I get that bad, King. <laughs> no, I, I would no, I would say more. It, it would probably be best to disengage and be like, sorry, I'm not comfortable. Yeah, how far would you take that? Would you somebody like starts like, like I'll give you my order to hold on. Wait, there, we need to differentiate this though because like <laughs> what, what, when Hellbent is saying this is what would be best, right? I would say that yeah, if you want to say this is like a virtuous thing to do, sure. But this is like where we we get into like more obligatory things where like if I'm like walking past, so, hold on, combo. just what I'm not when I'm just gonna say it's super obligatory to turn down those gifts. You know what would actually be a really good... I, I haven't thought this through, but I think it would be a good argument, actually. What about... For, for, wait, for Tom or uh, for Dan? Against Tom. Uh, for, for Dan to use. What about if you were... If there was like a 16 or 17-year-old hard pursuing... Surely... Th that's like basically the same thing, right? Because they're, it's like the idea is that they're giving, they are giving forth something that they don't have the... Awareness to, to yeah, make yeah. the right decision about, yeah, yeah. It's like it's almost the same thing. I feel like where, where it's like, yeah, sure, you, you can't point to like a harm or a deception, but you shouldn't fuck it. You shouldn't be doing it because you're playing in a uh, incredibly dangerous gray area where you don't know the mental state of this person. You don't know if this is going to fuck them up. You don't know if they would be if they're like wasting their life right now. Like, um... and you don't care about the. Uh, negative impacts because you see a positive one yourself. <laughs> you're like, well, I've I've said I've said no, I've said uh, no, I'm not interested at all. So it's fine. Like, no, dude, you've got to kind of cut off. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't know how much that changes it for me. I'm trying to think of how that changes it for me because, like. I think you're describing something worse, but it's just a gradient, like the same scenario. Yeah, exactly. That's that's kind of my point, though. Is like, it, it's like the same thing. It's it, you. Everyone's aware that they have that you can't just entertain advances from everyone, right? Even if you're saying like, no, no, I'm not gonna have sex, or whatever. You can't entertain the advances. You can't let it continue on. There are times where you have to put your foot down and clear. end a relationship and say. No, you're clearly, you're doing things that I don't believe you have the wherewithal to decide to do right now. And if your only line is like, oh, well, they're an adult, and I've been honest, it's like, okay, well, you're kind of like, it, it feels like you are just looking for plausible deniability to around people. Yeah, well, I think the, the issue with the kid is the, the grooming stuff as well, right? That, like, you're maintaining a friendly relationship to pursue a second one later. Um, but, I mean, even if you were that, I, I would say it's still wrong, though. Like, if someone... If so, like, let, let's say Tom's tutoring, okay? Yep. Tom's tutoring 16-year-olds. Nightmare mm -hmm. scenario. Yeah. And one of them starts flirting with him. He doesn't f*** 
fuck him. He's not gonna fuck him when they're 18. But he lets them keep flying. And he lets it keep going on. He says, listen, I'm not interested. But they keep flying. They keep flying. It does nothing to stop it. You would still say there's probably something wrong going on there, right? Uh, if he hasn't... Well, hold on. But you need to add in the, the idea that he's like, if if you... Oh, see, here's where it should have been. This is... I just found the line. You just helped me find the line. It needs okay. to be... Okay, this needs to stop immediately, and if it ever happens again, if I'm ever concerned about this again, I cut all communication immediately. Yeah, was how yeah, I would expect it to be. Yes, I that like, that's yeah. But that if I get be, the, yeah, that's a much worse situation, and so stuff with like you know, that's for us, Obviously, it's not like talking to a child. It's not exactly quite the same thing. But yeah, there is like obviously a point where you have to make that that call. Cool. Yeah, if and I think it's the responsible one. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think so. But then, yeah, a lot of people just have that sort of morality, and I don't, I don't believe in it. But it's hard to argue categorically against it. Where, like, as soon as somebody's an adult, any decision they want to make, like, it's their, it's their, their body, their choice, their brain, their choice. They get to do whatever they want. It's just like, but, but we just don't, we don't apply that because we know that there are people who are so mentally ill they can't make their own decisions. We know there are times where we take power away from adults. Yeah, that, that just is. It, it just, I don't see that. But I think anyone actually believes that that it's just over eighteen is fine. But it, I mean, it applies. Like realistically, if if what you said was true and everybody believes that, um, I think there'd be like way stricter requirements about getting into porn or making almost any like life altering decision at eighteen years old. But there aren't. We kind of just grant people that magical ability, and like societally, legally, we've decided that that's like it's like the codification of our ethics, right? Or I don't know. I'm I agree with you. Like I agree with you. Morally, but I don't know if that's like something you can categorically say. Sure. Yeah. I don't know. It's, but I, I'm a little suspicious of anybody who just always goes back to if any, if somebody's telling me like, well, they're an adult, they get to decide what they do with their own body. When I feel like they're making really bad decisions or like they're compromised in some way, I'm very suspicious of those people. Like I would be yeah. suspicious of Tom taking advantage of Sassafras somebody who's like a homeless person on uh sitting on the side of the street and i have a ton of money i have more than enough money to be able to put some money in their cup but i walk past them anyways and don't put any money in their cup i haven't done anything wrong by doing this i haven't done anything bad but it would be virtuous it would be nice it would be best if i did put money in their cup that would be great but there's no we'll just cut to the end of it it's the word yes it's like a, a moral good, obligation bad, yeah, sort, but i have no yes, obligation to save a dr drowning baby even if yes. it's like one feet of water i can walk by and sleep perfectly at night because correct and, and so, I so anything i live by yeah, no, it's not. No, it's not that. It's that like we don't normally expect you to go out of your way to help somebody else. Um, we can say it would be nice to do it, but that's where we get into like doing something virtuous. Is so, like once you're kind of going out of your way to do something nice for somebody else's benefit. But as long as you're not doing anything negative to them, like you're you're not doing anything wrong. I think in terms of the gift situation, like yeah, I would sort of I guess like, agree with what Tom said. Like I mean, I think. More yeah, uh, you should probably be like, yeah, I'm not comfortable accepting this. However, you don't, it's not really on you. It's their decision to, you know, gift you shit. Uh, but if we're talking about situations where, um, you know, consent is involved or some kind of like, I guess, romantic or sexual interaction, such as, let's say, if you keep engaging with them um, and then if you feel like, I don't know, lonely or bored or whatever, and then you flirt with them, uh, again, I mean, you, you could argue that... That is the, that is another side of this argument I haven't thought about that much. But like, um, fuck... I haven't thought about it that much, but realistically, can you trust that? That would be a concern for me is like, can I trust Tom's mental state to not feel vulnerable at some point and then decide to exploit that connection in like a way or something, right? Like you, well, there's yeah, like exactly. an this, implication this is, uh... with a lot of these things that somebody would be stable, that they can say no the one time and that will be no forever. But it's like, as soon yeah. as you, as soon as you're feeling like vulnerable or exposed, cause this happens, I know this happens to women all the time. Um, because if I mean, I guess it happens to everybody. That like you'll get a call from an ex, right? They just had something shit happen, yeah. and they'll call. It's like yeah. this literally happens to everybody. So yeah. you're like just kind of keeping that person in reserve. That's how it feels to me. Um, yeah, when you continue to interact after they've kind of shown that they are super into you, and there's like maybe some kind of obsessive shit going on there. That's why it's wrong to keep taking the house and keep allowing them to be on the hook. <clears throat> keeping, it. yeah. Allowing them to like stay on your hook like that, yeah. You, you oh, I would say that's wrong. Yeah. Oh, oh go, I would so. say that's wrong because because uh, earlier where I'm talking about the fact that like you have uh, it's on you to tell the person that you're not interested in them and like make sure that you hold that clear line that like you are not interested in them and you're not going to be interested in them. But yeah, if you start sleeping with them, now you're sending mixed signals. Now you're like well, definitely no, confusing the fuck out of this person. No, no, that's not sleeping. Let's say not sleeping. Let's say 
uh, let's let's keep it kind of to like stream of anger uh, framework, right? So let's say uh, they are okay. <laughs> uh, they are Discord sleeping, huh? Uh, mm -hmm. they, they are interested in you. Uh, you let's say you, you said you not you are not interested. They did do that, didn't they? That's a thing, right? They did. They did go on to VC to watch stuff together as Tom was falling asleep. Yeah, yeah. I so yeah. But then on occasion, like you feel again or lonely, whatever, and uh, and you like flirt with them over Discord. Like, is that a problem or no, Tom? Yeah, if you're flirting with them, yeah, you're sending mixed signals. Yes, like you are doing the thing that I'm talking about. So, like, yes, if you're if you're like a if this person has told you that they like you and mm -hmm. that they're into you and you are continuing to uh, you've told them I'm not into you, but now you're doing a bunch of things that make them think they might be into you. So, like the other day we were. Uh, we were talking about the fact that a woman told this guy, I'm not into you. I'm not interested. And then he was like, hey, I'm planning a vacation. Want to go on vacation with me? And she's like, yeah, sure. Let's go. Like, that's, yeah, you're sending mixed signals at that point. If you're planning, if you're willing this to go on vacation. This is by the way. Did you hear like, this story? Uh, I did. I saw that Tree went hard on Kidology. Is this a new yeah, story? Like, that, like, it's not her, like, her. oh, I found somebody to date? Because I think she came out and said she was, like, dating somebody now or something, right? Yeah, so basically what happened was she's been saying she's a lesbian for like the last two years and uh then she had this guy she was like seeing kind of she kept telling him oh no we'll never be together I'm like, get all this stuff you know he's like oh yeah you know I, i'm really into you but i'm sure we can be just friends you know i can just i can put that part of myself behind and he kept saying you know i'm into you every like, few months and then she plans a holiday with this guy and a week before the holiday she finds another dude and then tells him about it Oh, bro, really? Should we be yeah. reacting to this? I haven't seen this. I, I mean, it's she, like a... Tell like me a she didn't go and, like, make a YouTube video interviews. about it. Yeah, no, 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 she has all his texts, and then he apparently comments on Britney Simons with you reacting to it, and then I've gone into more of a back-and-forth through emails and shit. It's like a fucking... It's a real... I was going to cover oh. it tomorrow. Mm, 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 mm. I might I have to... first off already. <sighs> Maybe. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Yeah, what it's wild. It, 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 honestly, seriously, it's like major incel bait, that first video. It's, <laughs> it's like, it'll make you despise women so much. Oh. You'll never feel more misogynistic the only, than that video. The only reason I want to wait to cover that is because I would want Cherry to be here, because I feel like Cherry would have some very fun takes, potentially. <laughs> I... Yeah, I might have to wait until tomorrow. It look, I'm like excited to watch it now. Yeah, it's bad. Oh. There's a YouTube drama post about her at the moment as well. Apparently, over this. Well, I will. I will definitely have to look into it. I didn't realize. I just was taking that as like an example. I didn't realize it was. Um, I didn't yeah, realize it was actually right. something yeah. that you know is interested yeah. in you. Um, you're sending mixed signals, and so at that point, I would say that yeah, like you're being, you're kind of being deceptive uh, by sending mixed signals. Uh huh. So I, I I know a bit of I guess your lore, Tom. Um, do you have you ever been in a kind of a situation where uh, you kind of had to uh, navigate this line? Because I feel like you might have been. Yeah, the, I mean, obviously the thing with Sassafras within the last couple months yeah. that we were together, she started acting like she uh, was interested in me, and after like years of being friends, it was never a, an issue until it all of a sudden she. So do you think started... you did something wrong in that situation? I well, at the end, I I cut things off with her because she was being what weird. Is, like, he wouldn't even if like he was. As long as he said no, right? As long as you said no, and it sounds like you did, Tom, you wouldn't feel you did anything wrong anyway, right? So what he just said, you, Tom just said that, yeah, like you would be sending mixed signals, and I think from what I well, know. Well, hold on, hold on, wait, 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 hold on. Hmm? Is, I do you think I sent this person mixed signals in some way? From what I know, it seemed to me that you did, but then again, I'm not like super well versed in your. Uh, in so, DMs so just yeah, just to be clear, this is like an insanely. I, I, okay, I literally just like five minutes before I watched this, I watched like maybe two minutes of Chud's video uh, talking about this. Ah, Chud. Chud must have gone sicko mode on this. I almost want to watch Chud's coverage more than I want to just cover it on my own. What? Well, I almost... The stuff. The, no, the kid... If, wait. Oh, uh, he's talking about Sass again. Fuck. Color, yeah. No, I have, to, I have to... I have to... No, place. he has to. He has no, to. He would, not. he would not. Oh, he could go so not nuclear. Exactly. You know, you know. there's a 130 upvote comment on that YouTube drama thread right now saying that Kidology harassed someone. <laughs> <laughs> that drama, like two years ago. Uh, so hilarious. What what happened? So, there? so funny when like... you realize the, the, the second harassment victim is Chud. It's like, oh my god, <laughs> bro. I uh, it's so fu funny. 
um because i didn't i didn't follow a lot of that but it's so funny to me that chud is like because the impression i got was he had like a girlfriend at the time you can tell me if you know any of this was that he had a girlfriend and like she didn't like the attention kid all she was giving chud logic right is this accurate because this is Played like my head cannon. I'm, I'm not saying anything. My <laughs> you know, you know, so you can't say. All right, I that was that was what it sounded like to me. And Chud didn't want to. I have no private information on Chud. This was just reading tea leaves. Okay, stuff. I picked yeah. these things up. Okay, yes. Uh, I have no private well, information. Give, give, give me your narrative of that of that drama. And let me hear it. Full full narrative. What do you think happened? Full full narrative. I didn't look into it. I just remember oh. there being like. Uh, I want to say, did she talk to Chud's girlfriend, or like, did she think she found Chud's girlfriend? Was she like messaging other people? Was there like a backroom conversations happening there between this person that Chud was talking to and Kidology? Or did I make this up? Because trust me, I might be hallucinating this. I'll like, yeah, yeah. I think that is... was all public. I think, I think that was all public because she aired out messages on a stream, and there was like er erudite was involved. I think. Because I, I remember Chud just being like, I don't want to talk to you, leave me alone. And then she, like, got offended, and she did the whole stream, and then it came out that, like, Chud was basically the victim. <laughs> well, the whole, uh, the reason it all started was because basically Chud, because all had just made a bunch of comments on the stream over the course of, like, months. Just, bit, just talking about how attracted she was to Chud, which is very odd. And uh, then, yeah, there was some. Oh, did somebody message her Chud, about it? Someone was pretending to be Chud in emails. Right. And then it set her off, and she started thinking that it was Chud emailing her, and, and then Chud's obviously like, "I'm not, I'm not emailing you. I'm looking at DM a girl in emails to try and hit him up. What, what your schizo?" And she just wouldn't accept it. She was like dead set that it was Chud. Yeah, uh, God, incredible stuff. Listen, maybe this will all be a part of it tomorrow. Okay, all right. Addressing Chud logic slander. Oh, was this did. Oh no, this is a different thing. She tried talking to Mr. Girl. It wasn't about this though, right? I just had no, this horrible the, the, the Mr. Girl thing where she spent two hours. Yes, I have this horrible issue. recollection of the tech yeah. issues from that stream. Yeah. And I'm just like oh, I, yeah. That's one on. of the funniest streams Dan, ever, right? Dan, Dan like, sent me so this link. So Dan funny. sent me this link and I just like immediately saw her face down here. I was just like I had like an actual PTSD reaction. I was like, oh, well, uh, no, no, not again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is um I might, maybe this could be the whole stream tomorrow. We'll see. She's the most weird, she's the most awkward person on the planet. It's so weird. Uh, yeah, she's a little weird. She's like, yeah. Uh, I, I remember Kidology. Okay, I remember. Hold on. We, do we continue? We got to continue with this, I think. The Sassafesto stuff. I want to save this. I know Portobello, you offered to donate. But I think, um, I think this will be really good if I cover this cherry tomorrow. It'll be like way more fun. I believe. I believe. When you said Discord sleeping, that's what you're referring to, isn't it? That he, he totally misunderstood what he was talking about. They were acting like I was like, there was a video of us talking about the fact that we were getting ready to do a, a movie night in, in my uh, Discord VC. And I said, I'll go in there and I'll put on the movie, but I'm tired. I'm going to fall asleep. I, I thought that was bullshit. But this is like, like, this is like with like 50 people wrong. in there and they're yeah, acting they're like her and I are getting on a private call together. And then I'm, and then I'm putting on a movie and falling asleep next to her. I call but my friend pumpkin on occasion. Well, okay, I, I will admit, she said, like, weird things like that. Uh, but, but again, those things started <laughs> happening towards the end. At August, August is messaging me right now. August, just come on stream. There's not that many people here. You're fine. I'll delete the VOD for you. You just come on stream. <laughs> uh, hold on, August is asking me questions. He wants me to ask you questions. Q QTLDR, the, the Vosh Xanderhal show, for people who don't care to watch, um, like, 90 minutes of content. Yeah, sure. So basically, Xander Hall uh, went and spoke to one of his apparently normie offline friends, except online in his Discord VC, uh, called Ethan, who's also his editor, but also a normie somehow. Uh, and, and his normie friends were telling him that Vosh seemed like a grifter now because he just kept putting out negative things about Biden all the time. So uh, Xander Hall got on his stream and said that Vosh was grifting and that. You know, he has all these really positive thumbnails of Trump and really negative thumbnails of Biden. And yeah, he should be showing unity with Dems. Yeah. There's no point. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah there's no point showing on Biden. He's not getting replaced, all this stuff. And then Vosh went and watched a bit of it and was like, oh, yeah, this your kid's a fucking snake piece of shit. Uh, understandably oh. so. And then Xander was really bad. 
that Vosh wouldn't debate him about it. That's, uh... That's basically it. All right. Interesting. There you go, August. August asked for that personally. He was like, Sweet, let me, no problem. gotta let me know. Okay. Yeah, Portobello, I you donate a lot of money. Stop trying to star out the F slur in chat. Okay? You could huh. you could literally if you want to say F slur, maybe probably not, okay? You got to you got to chill, all right? You just got to chill. I don't want to have to time you out again, all right? At, like in a 3-year relationship, all of a sudden within like 3 months, she acted very differently. And again, this video is going to come out soon and it will detail all of this very clearly that like within 3 months she changed dramatically in the ways that she was acting, the way that she talked to me, and still never ever said that she was into me or that she had feelings for me. But eventually I cut her off because she was just acting at that point. Like uh like demanding that she knows about my personal life and my personal relationships as though she's my girlfriend was fucking insane. And so yeah, at that point like I I was I I told her to leave and then she Wait, he cut her off after it uh I don't know that I trust this characterization. He's like, I, I cut her off, and it's like you cut her off when you got caught leaking the news, to Mantis. <laughs> like, yeah, it was that uh, is yeah, like when it, when it what are you? Uh, yeah, he funny. cut her off because she was like freaking the fuck out him for not telling her, and then basically he, ma he managed to reconcile with her, and she was gonna like stay in the community, and then he got cold feet and was like, no, no, actually, no, we've got to, we've got to stop talking now. So that, that's my understanding of it. Incredible. Left and pretended like, uh, like she got mad and uh, and so just to clarify, started leaking. I said, but I, I never gave her any sleeping, signal that I was interested in her um, whatsoever. When I, said, when I said Discord sleeping, I wasn't referencing the the movie watching. I just meant uh, let's keep it to Discord relationships uh, versus like meeting up in person. Just just to keep things simpler. That's what I meant there. But um, but correct me if I'm wrong, Tom. But I thought that it wasn't that oh she started acting weird and you kicked her. But wasn't it the whole like mental situation that made her spark out? Yes, that's what I'm saying. She's mm -hmm. acting All like right. she has some sort of right to my personal relationships, and she's not my girlfriend. Yeah. She has no right to my personal life and has no right to know any of these things. And I was clear with her about this from the beginning, that, like, I talk to a ton of girls. I don't do committed relationships. I do, like, short-term flings with women, and that I had been doing this the entire time we knew each other. But all of a sudden, out of nowhere, within the last three months, she just started acting totally differently and acting like a, like a, a jealous girlfriend or something. And she wasn't my girlfriend, so... <laughs> No, um, one, one thing I can you... one thing I can say just for 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 all parties is that uh, nobody knows anything like to any level about this could literally this could be true that like he could show you know months and months of like fairly normal professional conversations and then within like a month it starts getting a little more in that direction and that it like essentially that he like gives a soft reminder and then cuts her not cuts her off but like then the mantis leaks happen I don't know it could end up coming out that it's like closer to Tom's side. I, I could yeah. see it. I just, I, bro, he's just lied so many times that like, I can't take his word. I just have to see the evidence. It's like almost pointless to speculate on what it could be. He just lies so much and so often. It's well, about Sass because she is quite um private person, and I think you'd agree with that, right, Tom? Well, she's she is, which is why it was really weird. Except for leaks things, yeah, yes, right. but yeah. all of a sudden she likes to leak very out of context DMs. That again, this stuff, all the context will come out very soon. It'll be very clear how. Far uh, insane she was like there's no question about it throughout this like I was very clear with her I was very responsible in how I handled this I was very very explicit through the whole thing and she's the people psychotic, Tom. So. The peop don't give them what they yeah. don't give them everything don't show the boat but you know give them a breadcrumb of what they're expecting well I mean there's a, a recorded phone call of me telling her over and over and she's asking about mantis me saying why do you care about this this isn't any of your business I'm not comfortable with this anymore this seems unhealthy for you you need to stop asking these sorts of questions and she keeps pushing anyways and keeps asking anyways and uh and, but like by the end you of this call, you were giving her mixed signals anytime in your three-year quote-unquote relationship. I, I, so again, there, sorry, I'm, I'm gonna be right back. I'm still listening. Be right back in like ninety seconds. Was, there were no signs that she was into me until the mm -hmm. like towards the end of the relationship. Like towards the end is all I of a sudden where she starts up. acting differently. I never saw it. Well, uh, yeah, because I don't know what what time frame the whole like oh pumpkin go to bed you have an important meeting tomorrow. I don't, I don't know when time frame that is coming from. Well, hold on. I mean, I have friends that call me bitch and sweetie and shit like that. And like, while her being my mod probably makes that a little bit more like inappropriate, um, that's not a weird thing for like a friendly dynamic. And we were close friends. Like we were like, I, like 100%. Like she was one of my closest friends and I, I, uh, I liked her. Like she was Wait, somebody that like I really leaned on. You like to be playful with kind of like flirty and pet names and stuff? I, I have never gave her any pet names or anything like that. No, but I'm saying that it's not inappropriate w across the board for a woman to call a man pumpkin if they are just friends that like I'm not I'm saying she didn't do anything weird or wrong by doing that. And by her calling me pumpkin, it doesn't necessarily mean that she has some sort of feelings for me that like generally, yes, lots of women have like, uh, feelings for like talk to guys in that sort of way. Well, I think uh, I think you you kind of defending yourself just uh, by uh, focusing on the phrasing pumpkin, because obviously just uh, using that 
name, like I just did, that's nothing in itself. It's all in Wait, the context, I didn't, right? I didn't focus on the phrasing. I didn't focus on no, the phrasing. No, I gave like a, a broad I... generality of like uh, cutesy mm. nicknames that women could use. The, what I'm saying is the nickname is not the issue in itself. It's more just like the overall, I guess, vibe and the way uh, she seemed to be communicating and like, you, you know, it's kind of like, oh, pumpkin, you have an important meeting, go to bed. It's kind of like this very like caring, very affectionate and very involved uh, attitude, I would say. It's, it's not just that she, call, she called you a pet name. I, I think at least like that, that voice clip that I'm thinking of, Again, I don't know what time frame that's coming from. Uh, yes, but hold on. Wait, let's go back to what we were talking about because, uh, like, this leads right back to what we were just talking about a minute ago. If I'm not giving okay. her any sort of signs or signals that this is that any of that I'm into her whatsoever, then her doing that is literally just on her. That is her thing that she's doing. But I'm not reciprocating this in any way. I'm not calling her cutesy nicknames. I'm not flirting uh, with her. I'm not doing any of the things that you would think. This would. whole thing, by the way, he's uh, he's doing some weird shit again. It's just this whole thing. Like, oh yeah, it, it was totally fine that she called me like names and stuff. Lots of women do that. Lots of women call me names. Uh, would like lead her to believe that uh, that she has some sort of chance with me, or that I'm going to be in a relationship with her at some point, or anything like that. The like the the it, what is incumbent upon me is that I am honest with her about the fact that I am not going to be in a relationship with people, and uh, and that I'm never trying to make her think that we would be together at some point. That and I'm not sending mixed signals. Like you you telling me that she calls me pumpkin is not me. I mean, it's not even like I. Like, do, so do I, I even give a fuck if he did let Sassafras give him free work for ages? Not really? If he just admitted this, would I even care? Wait, hold on, no, 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 hold on, wait, 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 wait. Dude, don't, don't say affection, because that's a little bit too broad. Like, if she's upset, and she's, like, sad about something, <laughs> I am definitely there for her, and, I, and, I want, and I'm there to talk to her and comfort her and, like, try to make her feel better, as I would with my guy friends as well. Like, I feel like she's uh, like he's not like, admitting yeah, that. Yeah, that's what kind of works me, man. It's obvious what was going on here, why she was doing the work. not a great word to use, as though this is pushing some sort of, like, romantic intimacy. Um, well, I, I would say that, uh, from what I understand, so she was, I would, I would, from what I, from my impression at least, she, she was clearly showing a romantic affection and interest in you. You were accepting it, but not reciprocating. And this is a, this is a pretty good parallel to this. Yeah, but I think it's such a short time frame, right? Yeah, like a, that's what I was about to say. Got, got like, two, if got a two years of, of engagement with somebody, exactly. that's totally platonic. It's like three um, years. And then, yes, and then all of a the sudden, these things start to, like, creep up like slowly and as they are we are having numerous conversations over and over and over in dms in voice calls about this and each time it seems as though she understands and then she like a little while later will do something to make it seem as though she doesn't understand which is why at the end we had an insanely explicit conversation where i recorded the call and i'm telling her this is unhealthy this isn't this is inappropriate like uh this isn't okay you can't keep like uh acting like you're my girlfriend or anything like that like i i'm uh, Wait, let me ask this isn't any of your business. Helpin. And then days later is where I ask her to leave because she does it again days later. And that's when it Helpin, became too much. Do you remember the Shedology, Shed Logic situation? No, I don't know anything about Shedology. <laughs> that's okay. Um, fuck. Um, um, so, Ryle, do you think that Tom did anything um, wrong in that whole situation? I, um, with Sass, I, I, don't, I don't think I have enough information. So what needs to, like, I think I can make, like, a, an inference or decision based on Sulfur or based on other situations. I can't make an inference there because there is basically... Tom hasn't released any, like, comparative amount of DMs, right? She has released a, a lot of DMs, but Tom, you haven't released any, right? Or maybe one or no, two. No, I haven't. It, it, I haven't released anything, and she hasn't released anything for me to even combat because there's never been something that she's shown where it shows a dynamic where we're flirty with each other, or where I'm like showing any sort of reciprocation, or where I'm leading her on in any way, or where I'm saying you things that would make her, her think. No, we're talking about uh, with uh, I mean, with Sassafras on occasion. Is that? I mean. I think Tom's described what maybe not the, the leading on is, but like that they keep having to have this conversation over and over again and nothing has been, and it doesn't get made explicit for, for like weeks, apparently. I feel like that in and of itself is already like starting to look not good. Yeah. This is like in your hypothetical, Queeman, just like this is the 16 year old that you've been like, no, nothing had ever happened. And you aren't ending the relationship. Yeah. We're doing it. It's like, you're not being explicit there. Yeah. Oh, fuck me in the ass. I don't want to tell you what happened because I'm going to get made fun of, okay? <laughs> but I, may, I may have switched my headphones and not said anything, and oh. whatever you've said in the past, like, five minutes, I've not heard. <laughs> oh, nice one. Nice. But the stream would have heard it, so things. I can't tell if it, like, sounds like we aren't on the same page or I'm just <laughs> ignoring you. <laughs> so, That's based. My bad. That's my based. bad. Uh, had you said some shit? Uh, yeah, I think I said something. Oh, yeah, I said, like... It, like even if Tom did lead on Sassafras a bit and get free work out of her, it's like that's not like the biggest crime. It's like I don't even really give a fuck about that. It's just the fact that it seems like he's like trying anything to come up with these reasons why. Oh well, you know, leading on actually has this very technical definition, and 
you know, I, I did tell her, I did tell her I wasn't going to be in a relationship. It's, when he's making all these things and make make it seem like he's just doing plausible deniability, that's what bothers me. Where it's, he's like not just being real about it. Like, yeah, if I'm being honest, no no woman's going to do work for that long for free unless she's into the guy. I like, just say that, what? like, because it was. And there's no way like, you're going to play ignorance for the entire relationship. Yeah, and I think the thing is, is like Dan's essentially accusing him of something, and Tom's like trying to weave into, it feels like he's trying to weave this into, like, he knows what the DMs say, and he's trying to make sure the definitions all line up so that when people are like, oh, you were leading her on, he can be like, no, yeah, no, we agreed leading yeah. her on means this. It's like, when you just have a frank conversation about, like, what happened. Like, you, because Dan's saying, you knew she was into you, and you kept hanging out with her, despite, like, not wanting anything there. So that was leading her on. And Tom's saying, no, 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 I made it clear there was never going to be a romantic relationship. And then he says, well, at the end, we had an incredibly explicit conversation. So I don't know what he was saying in between and what was going on in between. What did Tom do this time? Oh, Tom's just, he's having a conversation with people about uh, how he handled his sassafras situation, I guess. It's, uh, it's interesting. Anyway. But, but you just mentioned sulfur, yeah. That's... Yeah, so, so sulfur I'm more clear on, right? Like, I would say, I think I have a, like an okay to good read where, like, I don't think I've ever seen sulfur talk on stream like I, I heard like a conversation like a half of one with the, i don't i don't care about the pumpkin like i who knows what that could be right like obviously i know what the implication is that it's it's you know that obviously they're having this uh, illustrious love affair but um I, what i think is my the concern i had was just the kind of um like me and tom got into it before about like falsities right or kind of bending the truth and that's a an internal fight we'll probably have but it's watching mantis <laughs> sulfur is a slimy little shocker and she owned that eventually wait okay. but what the, when we talked you said that you were is Mantis banned here? Yeah, I think so. Concern was that I was putting myself in a position where she could try to misrepresent what it was that I did, but that you admitted that like it was wrong for her to like release the DMs the way that she did, and that there wasn't really anything wrong that happened there. It was just that no, she was able to uh, use so it to twist it. And, and so I, 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 I know. I pull up the conversation. I didn't misunderstand I, it. I, I asked you explicitly. You let me finish. Do you know what I'm going to say? So I know what you're talking about, and I know what you asked me in that moment, and I know what I answered with. And what you asked about was: Was it okay, or should you have an expectation of privacy in DMs? And would you be upset? You asked me, would I be personally upset? Well, yeah, I, I, that's what I get. That's, that was an easy one to give, right? Actually, you kind of, we went back and forth on it. Yeah, I would be upset if, any, even if I was a rapist, I'd be upset if somebody leaked DMs that I was a rapist. But that doesn't answer the question, right? No, 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 no. I, 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 I was, hold on. I was very clear <laughs> that I was, uh, that I, I think if you're like misleading somebody or if you're doing something where they told you to stop and you refuse to stop, that this is like, it perfectly makes sense for them to release those DMs. But that was not the case here. She didn't ask me to stop something that I continued. She didn't keep telling me, hey, will you stop doing this? And I kept doing it. That never happened. She never even showed that there was a problem whatsoever. And then eight months later, she releases the DMs as though there was a problem and as though she told me to stop when it never happened. Not only did she not tell me to stop, she literally said it was okay in the DMs that she released. So it doesn't make sense for her to leak it in any way whatsoever because nothing, there was nothing there. Nothing inappropriate happened. Right. Um, I would say... um. Definitely, what I, I think the worst thing I can say about Sulphur from what I've seen is that she's a people pleaser. I think she, uh, she was very conciliatory, um, but... Uh, I just feel like the accusation of impropriety is from a lack of action. It's a Trump situation, okay? Trump is sitting back and saying, I didn't do anything wrong. I just, listen, I didn't do anything wrong. And people are like, no, no, no. The wrong thing is you not calling in the National Guard when people were like beating down the doors. <laughs> He's like, yeah, but I didn't do anything. Inaction is an action, based. I, 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 the, I think the thing with the self thing is is that it's weird and like he absolutely was flirting, like especially with the other statements he's made. But there are some people that are just like going way far with it. Like I felt like I heard, I, I was like listening to Reservoir's stream earlier, and he had Elder Drazi and Emery and Tuna Chip there or some shit. And they were saying like. Oh yeah, Tom. Tom is like not someone you would want in a community with women. It's like Jesus Christ. Like yeah, if you wanted to keep women safe in your community, you would have, you would have to ban Tom. Like shit like that. It's like okay. <laughs> yeah, this is. I yeah, it's just like cringy the... messages. It's like I, it's not that deep. Uh, I think it's like cringy. I cringy and pushy. I'll say because of the multiple instances, cringy and pushy. I feel like there's nothing wrong with it on the internet. I feel like if if this same behavior was like duplicated in real life, I'd be like, you're kind of a weird, like a weird that I'd like maybe just be like, hey, like I wouldn't, you couldn't report him to the cops. It'd just be like, I knew a woman. I'd just be like, hey, he's he's one of those guys, you know, just chill, be chill with him. Just I don't know. 
Uh, he's just like weird. But I, I agree with you that they're just weird messages. I don't think there's like a yeah. safety issue if it's on the internet, right? Like if you're being pushy in DMs, it's like okay, what's the worst that could happen? I don't. Blunt, blunt, blunt. Yeah, no. it's, sorry, it's just not that big a deal. But I also don't think he would be this pushy in person. I think he like kind of talks about it. So I just doubt it. I sincerely doubt it. I don't know. It's okay. Didn't he get some harassment claims at a Pizza Hut? I believe that was the subway. I'm pretty sure. I believe it was a subway. So that would come after you would apologize for being weird. Can I ask a question? I hate to cut in. Um, no, go for it. So what are your thoughts, Tom, on Kidology and Brittany Simon saying that it was questioning uh, Kidology's sexuality for the guy to go after her after he's told that she's a lesbian? Yeah, it's pretty obviously true. Yeah. Like for him to continue pursuing her, it seems as though he thinks he can like uh, trick her into not being a lesbian. But it seems as though... <laughs> why, like, why is he... Why is he a... <laughs> Okay. When she tells him that we'll she's not into him, we don't actually see signs of him continuing to pursue her. During that period, we see him just saying, I'm trying to get over you right now. Until she says, I slept with another man recently. That's when things change dramatically. And obviously it would, because if she's telling him, I have no romantic feelings for men whatsoever, I'm a lesbian. And then she says, oh, by the way, I just had sex with a guy. Obviously, he's going to see that as like, uh, as her questioning her own sex. Well, that's... So I have two thoughts on what you just said. Um, so let me just say both of them and then you can respond to it. So thought number one, uh, yes, uh, Sulfur never gave you any firm or somewhat pushback to your flirting, but you obviously knew that she was gay, so, and you kept doing that. So wait, but, wait, 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 hold on. Don't, don't say no, I kept doing say, it. Hold, no, 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 because that's not true. We'll, we'll, I we'll let her get well, it out. I, wait, no, 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 hold on. Well, no, she, no, 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 shut up. I'm, I'm going to have to mute you if you don't shut up. <laughs> the, it, I did not continue with anything. Based. If he, like, starts implying something, Tom's like, no, 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 no. Bro, she doesn't even finish the, finish the sentence, bro. Come on, you gotta let her speak. I playfully... F I just think women should be allowed to speak, okay? With her once, I sent maybe two or three messages, and then it was obvious that she was, like, getting, like, a, like taking it seriously, and as soon as I realized she was taking it seriously, I stopped, and I said, sorry, I'm just being a dick. Like, I'm just, I'm just being a jerk, my bad. And I backed off, and... No. No. You were drunk. She was drunk. You were kind of hoping she wasn't really a lesbian. Like it wasn't just like I, yeah wait it wasn't just i'm a i'm a jerk i'll stop it it's, was j just say i'm rejecting you mr tom or something like that right and then and it was also, uh, yeah i'm just being a jerk i'm just being a jerk like we we would just have to ask if she sent you like a a picture of herself after that in response you wouldn't have gone whoa 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 it's a joke right it's the darius movie well, yeah it's the, yeah i'm being like i'm being like unhinged and it's all a joke it's all a joke until you're like until you reciprocate in any way and then it's like oh so, oh you all right let's go because you're, you're a lesbian right right yeah right of course yeah, this okay, be serious. Lesbian? okay yeah yeah that's i mean which i think it's like kind of sleepy but it's not like the end of the world again she got the block right there it's pretty easy when she, even when nope. she said, it's okay for us to play like this, I never did it again. We, that, this is right at the beginning of our friendship, where we first meet. And every interaction after that, I never did it again. She continued to invite me into calls. I never invited her into calls, but she continued to invite me into calls after this. She continued to DM me and talk to me. She continued to pursue, uh, like, DMs with me. I did not continue to pursue DMs with her. So, like, everything from then... Um, September, I believe, was, like, when our first mm -hmm. DMs happened. So, okay, yeah. so when you were asking her to take her top off on stream, that was also around that time. Okay. Yes, but that was after she said that I was going to take my top off, right? Like, this isn't, this isn't just some random thing that I said. I said, she asked me first, aren't you going to take your top off, Tom? Those are, those are equivalent things on stream, right? Men streaming without a top on and women streaming without a top on. Uh, top on? Those, are, those are about the same, right? I think those are, those are equivalent. And I was sure. like, no. I, think are, TOS I thought agree. you were going to take your top I think TOS does agree on Twitch, at least. Wait, not on YouTube, though, right? Well, actually, there is that. Uh, I, someone was sending those, uh, like, brand tutorials or something now. There's, like, not even a baby involved. It's, <laughs> literally just, it's literally just a woman with a tits out and, like, a fake, like, a crazy There's also, baby yeah. thing. Yeah, well, listen, some people need to learn, okay? What do, you, <laughs> what do you think the amount of people who click that video are, like, actually interested in breast and not just showing off? Like, a person. I had, like, two million like, views, so. <laughs> Off. And then everybody started playing along. I don't, and some I of don't them, remember her saying that. I think somebody That's because Ryle didn't put that in his fucking clips, but I can show it to you if you'd like to see it. It was definitely part of it. She started it by asking me if I was going to take my shirt off, and then I repeated it back to her. Three times, yeah. <laughs> yes. I, I, well, but other people were well, saying it as the well. There were three or four other times. This reminds me of. Um, I, 
I feel like there's no way I'd just be having like calm arguments with Dan. Like, no offense, Dan. You came at me the way you came at Tom. I don't think I'd just be having like calm arguments with you on stream about like adjacent topics. <laughs> I feel like I don't understand why he's doing this. This feels like when Lav was talking to um Yeah, you just pumped out like four like, hit pieces on me in like the space of a month. Like are you good. Yeah. Like, we're not we're like, not cool. I, <laughs> Yeah. Like at least if if I'm on a call, it's like not gonna be cordial, <laughs> right? It's going to be yeah. so where other people uh, were saying it, too. And she she said it to me a couple more times as well. So, yeah. So so me saying it three times, her saying it two or three times, other people saying it two or three times. The way it's quipped is as though as though it's like this weird, creepy thing that I'm doing over and over. When in reality, it wasn't uh, uh, like uh, <laughs> Resi's chat was saying it like uh, the other people's chats were saying it, but not just about her, about me as well. Like it was just a thing at the time. We were all giving each other sh the entire panel. All right. I mean, I'm, I'm happy to believe you on this. Uh, take the word because I, I literally have no, right I think now. You, I can I, show Yeah, you. I think you should. I don't think that's some I don't, I don't think that's something any person should ever utter around tom i'll just take your word for it yeah to vindicate himself uh, i don't i don't care about that much i think it wasn't that you were being like uh well creepy maybe but like definitely not predatory i think you were just being stupid more than anything there yeah sure but and that's second, fine I, it, that's fine but that's, that I, I wasn't from... like being pushy though and it wasn't anything that was worth leaking as though she told me to stop and i continued because even well, when she says it's it okay really to continue to Sure, but that's but that's wrong. Like that's obviously a, a horribly immoral thing to do to just leak DMs in me to somebody as though they did something wrong and they didn't. Like by far the majority of people online, I would think, would look at somebody false me tooing a person and say that is a disgusting thing to do. But you guys think it's fun? Why is that fun? I, Why I, is that an okay thing to do? Why is it something to giggle about and laugh about? It doesn't be okay for, for us to giggle about it because it's. I don't think anyone was me tooing. No, it, false me too. Yeah, you can I, say I, it's I, shitty to leak, but the idea that he was being me too is fucking retarded. Uh, I'm pretty sure most people that well, covered it, pretty much everyone framed it as they hear some cringy messages. Although, no. yeah. I'm sorry. Although you, you, well, I, how did I frame it? I, I think I just framed it pretty harshly against him, but more in the he's a loser way. Um, and he's trying to shoot a shot with a lesbian. But I think you were just saying that like Rezzy and Elder Drazi and. Yeah, I think that's a recent thing. Like, it is seems it? like that's kind of right. developed over time. I don't remember that being the vibe when they came out. I mean, I, I still remember when I spoke about it. I was like, I, I think I even stressed, like, this isn't, like, some crazy thing. This is just, like, cringe messages. I think I was, like, stressing that. But, yeah, I think it, more recently there's, I don't know, maybe with time they've all uh, fermented their hatred of Tom or something. Because I certainly don't remember that being the vibe. All right. Yeah, and somebody I, is just giggling what, what, internet drama? Seriously? That's that's what you get from that. It's just funny Sorry, internet drama. Just false me tooing somebody is just it's just funny internet drama. It's just it's oh it's just so cute, isn't it? That Dude, she said that I got closer to false me tooing him than than the sulfur shit did. <laughs> <laughs> I don't uh, I feel like I made it clear many, many times that I did not think Tom was a danger to women, okay? I think I made that very clear multiple times that's that's you guys are truly sick if that's what you get from people false me hey, too i don't know these are serious I, I, claims of shit and you think it's funny that's gross okay serious claims of being pushy on discord <laughs> okay, <Tom. laughs> bro i apparently i'm the only one who does this I, literally if i'm just like annoyed with somebody who won't stop messaging i insta i block so easily on discord just like yeah i don't like, yeah, I don't even respond to most messages people send me. I've got to be honest. I just totally blank them. Well, I I, I just like don't having think of the thing immediately. I'm just like, I don't care. Yeah, I just I like the thing being clean. So like, I'll again, if somebody's like arguing with me about something, like if we hit bedrock on something, they just keep arguing. I'll set the block button. It's like I don't want you taking up my notification space. No, stop. Yes, I did. She said that I was a pushy sex freak and said that I was a sex pest. That is me doing somebody. What are you talking about? She's saying that I was pushy when you know I wasn't pushy. You're admitting I wasn't pushy. Nobody can read those things and say I was pushy. They called me. Wait, um, everybody can read those things and say you were pushy. It's just that being pushy over at Discord isn't really that big a deal. Like, I, I distinctly remember the mess just going something like, uh, I'm just, just say I'm rejecting you, Mr. Tom. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm just being a jerk. I'm just being a jerk. And then he plays that like that's obviously meant to communicate that it was a joke, but it doesn't really. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Be abusive from those DMs. That is me telling somebody. That? That, uh, that? I, I believe I don't know if Sulfur actually said the word abusive, but I, I, Rezzy said I was abusive, and Rezzy said that Chud also called me abusive from that. There was no reason. I I feel like I heavily doubt that Chud said that. 
Uh, I think I fell asleep while Tom was covering that stuff. Uh, Joe was covering that stuff, so. Alright. Uh, leak those DMs. Mm. And leaking those DMs mm. to try to paint me as somebody who did something wrong is disgusting. It just is. Well, I, I haven't leaked DMs on any of these. I take people. it as a serious claim of your character. I just. Uh, then why did she call? Why did she call me a pushy sex freak? And why did she call me a sex pest? Then, if it's not a serious claim about my character. I did. She call him both of these things, pushy sex freak. I mean, I got no idea. I don't know. Possibly, I think they all hate Tom, so it's very possible she said shit like that. I think she said at one point she would rather have a, a Taliban than Tom or something. <laughs> uh. uh, that could be a joke. <laughs> Why would she say I'm a sex pest and a pushy sex freak? Why would she say those things? She's writing just, bed lines. I don't. I don't interpret uh, like sex freak as a very serious moral condemnation. I, I think a sex pest is literally somebody who pushes past your boundaries and keeps trying to get sex from you. No, no, I get after the definition. Said it, no. I get the definition. I guess in the context of the internet, I just think it's uh, it's just uh, you know, it's just something to kind of it's an insult to throw about. I think I would uh, take it. It's as not this, an insult to throw about. Right, is being on main. Okay, that no, that's what we call a coomer. A sex pest yeah, I think is literally somebody pestering somebody <laughs> for sex. Yes, I am a hetero <laughs> man. Of course, yes. I <laughs> being horny on this guy. She should have never done this. <laughs> Do you think he's a coomer or a what was it? A coomer or a gooner? Yeah, a coomer or a gooner, wasn't it? <laughs> God. She doesn't know what either of those words mean. It, <clears throat> bizarre. One of the most bizarre conversations ever. It's like Yeah. What are your opinion being like, you a gooner or you a coomer? Cool. Take the fuck Joker off your bit. Sorry. Okay, I'm gonna calm down. Yeah, yeah, she's going. You're going in. I don't know. <laughs> you chill. Where is this? Isn't the private stream, bro? This is the public <laughs> stream. Main fine. That's I, I'm a fucking normal person in the world. Um, no, like I don't get why that would be like why when you have those breakdowns. I don't know why you don't just start going to um like not. Like, basically, come up with your definition. Like, stop saying, no, 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 you're wrong for saying this. It's like, ask them what they mean, and then just either use that and the word, or if it's some culture war thing, I guess, do a word that's not blah, 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 okay? Pick something that's less condescending to say to people, I think. But you just say, like, X, or uh, I don't know. For Tom, like, I thought sex pest was good. You pester somebody in a sexual fashion, that's sex pesting. I don't think you have to be pestering them to have sex with you. I yeah, think there can absolutely be internet sex pests. Yeah. It's just yeah. pushing on sex boundaries. It doesn't, I don't even know if it has to be repeated on one person. I feel like it can just be in the being repeatedly in the wrong context as well. Like if someone just, like if you walk, you're going to get called a sex pest if you just like walk into a restaurant and start loudly talking about how, I don't know, you love. Like you're probably gonna call the sex pet. Like that, I don't feel like that makes sense. Like if you're saying it in the wrong context, or if you're continuing to say it past the boundary, then yeah, that's that's like sex pesting. Yeah, I think the weird thing is, is to me, like um, the thing Chud uses, and I started using when I was dealing with Tom. I haven't talked with Tom, so I haven't used it so long time. Which is like weird sex freak. But the, to me, that sounds worse. I'd rather be called like a. I I think I'd rather be called a sex pest than a weird sex freak. At least a sex pest implies like. A uh, possible misunderstanding. Weird sex freak is just so amorphous as to be like undefendable against. But like, I think mm. Tom would rather be called weird sex freak. Uh, no, I think I would rather be called weird sex freak than sex pest. I think sex pest implies some kind of malintent or like harm to another person. Weird sex freak can just mean like you're a furry or something. Oh, well, maybe. Which I mean, maybe, I don't that's, know. maybe that's worse. Luckily, <laughs> luckily, I conduct myself in such a way that I can't really be accused of either. So, <laughs> boom, solved, problem eliminated. Like what? you're a, like you're a felt did... <laughs> Like what? Like you're a felt. Yeah, that's what weird so. sex freak sounds like. Uh, so calling me a sex pest is not, not the same thing. It's, it's not, not the same a, thing at all. An and you're, 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 you're sitting here justifying it by saying it's just internet drama. You are saying it's okay to just false me to people, and it's just I didn't funny say it was shit. Okay. You did. You said you would literally. When I said this is a disgusting thing to do, you said it's just funny internet drama. That's what you said. Can be both. Okay. You you know you're downplaying it, Hellbent. You know what you're doing. What I, are you? Or are are you are you just like insanely bad faith? Which one is it? Well, she's an Aussie. Let's be careful. This comes with the bread. It comes with the blood. I'm a what? Are you an Aussie? What are, I don't know. Where you're no, from. I'm Russian. Oh, hey, what's up? <laughs> My real life name is Sasha. So I'm fucking uh, I'm bad Russian. Oh, kids. people are queuing up in the waiting room. Oh uh, yeah, who's in there? What do they got to say? Well, I'm sure Mantis has a lot to say. 
Oh, I don't know. What, was this the plan? Was like, let's pretend we're going to talk about consent and then let's uh, favorite drinking buddy. Let's make it about this shit instead. Well, <laughs> that was actually the second point that I was going to bring up after the statement that you made uh, about, and I don't know that situation at all with theology and whatnot, but yeah, you were talking about how. Listen, Dan would only be a pest if he if he took that shot and then continued after she didn't reciprocate. Okay, he took his shot, he let it go. That's a normal human being. All right, so you let it go now. Uh, essentially, so, you guess, want to explain the woman was the woman. No, no, I, I think I, I got enough. Like, but the woman was gay. But then it, essentially, and there was like some kind of like flirtation ship. But then, uh, and it was kind of supposedly obvious that nothing was going to happen by the virtue of her being gay. But then she did sleep with a man, and that obviously frustrated the other person. Is that correct? Yeah, she never got past the first date with like a woman. Like, and it was like for a year of her life out of thirty. Uh, uh, Stalin. Valor, okay. Mm. But, um, Elder Drazi coming in with solidarity. You think of, uh, Tom, do you think what made Sass burg out was that, I guess, she was okay uh, with the notion that you were not going to have a relationship because you explained you don't have relationships, but then she interpreted your involvement with Mantis as actually having a relationship and essentially uh, kind of going against the principle that you outlined to her? I, I don't know. I mean, she's psychotic. She could have made up anything in her mind. It did seem as though that was the issue. That was that she made up that like uh, Mantis and I were in like some sort of serious relationship. And what, it, let's say that it, let's say that that's true. Okay, let's say that I actually did uh, end up getting into a serious relationship with Mantis. I I had been like uh, like I'd always been clear that like yes, I only do flings and I only do like a uh, like short uh, relationships with people. And the internet relationships weren't like uh, really a thing. It was obviously like in real life most excuse me most of the time, but. Um, but I wasn't against like being in a committed relationship at some point. I wasn't against like finding somebody that I would want to be in a long-term committed relationship with. Um, like I'm, I, I'm always open to like meeting some. She wasn't into sass like that. Buddy that I would want to stay with for a while. And if she has an accusation in the, if yeah. you bring her in. I, I mean, the, I, I want to, to me, by the way, not to you. Tom. Yeah. Yeah, to, to, moment, yeah, she's accusing her of being somebody she's... She okay, well, I want to try to finish this stuff before I pull... I feel like Mantis's issue here is that this person has been in a voice call with Tom for more than 40 minutes. <laughs> That's, like, her primary issue with this person. Pull anybody else in, but, um, but yes, like, what, whatever it is that she thought was happening, um, one, it's still none of her business. It doesn't matter. If that's too much for her to handle, she can leave. But she doesn't get to keep demanding that information from me over and over and acting like it's her business or like she has any right to the information. Uh, she's not my girlfriend. She has no right to that information whatsoever. And throughout the three year relationship, we never shared that information with each other. She didn't tell me about any guys she was dating. I didn't tell her about any girls that I was dating. There was one time that I told her about one girl and it was months and months after the fact. And I only told her because it was possibly going to blow up into drama. And I told her that that was the only time I would ever tell her this stuff. So... No, I, I don't disagree at all. I think that, that sounds reasonable. Uh, but I want to ask, so why are you planning on making a video on her? Oh, because she's continued to release out-of-context DMs over and over to try to paint the picture to where, obviously, you have concerns. Other people have... Yeah, I'm just... I'm skipping along until Mantis joins. Get to the, the content. I think, I think Mantis is uh, attacking uh, Hellbent, and I think it's only fair that Mantis gets a word in. Okay. Are they an attack? I don't know who the person is that she's... Well, it was a demolition, hey. but... All right, everyone... Yo, what's oh. up? Hey, who's Cat Canada? You, have you watched recently the, uh, the videos of Destiny going around where he kind of is going at people? Destiny? Destiny? On Twitter? Uh, you watch the videos of Destiny lately? Destiny on Twitter? Destiny? <laughs> yeah, I've heard some of it. Yeah, oh, you no, remember amazing. <laughs> it's, it, it's the worst accent. How is it so much worse, worse than Australian? How is it so much worse? It, it is. It's, it's almost they're like almost the same, but it's somehow so it's, much yeah, worse. It's almost like a slight difference just makes it. I don't know. It's terrible. He just said Crazy. recently where he, he took on like 10 conservatives. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Do you remember who started that tortoise? Oh, Cat Canada? Oh, American, that right? her. Yeah, she is. No, she was he, Russian. He did it? And she sounded oh, just what? like you, and she was asking as many questions as you're asking. She's, to be fair, she's Moldovan, I believe. What? Yeah. Um, oh, retarded Russian. Yeah, so I'm, I, I, I might be wrong that you're Cat Canada, but you're probably as retarded, and you're Russian too. Well, you know, we grade well, our curves. I totally roasted by Mantis. Debate Mantis. I watched the other day. So, That's what this is like right now. Yeah, I was like, over. Destiny debate I watched the other day. God, get me out. <laughs> uh, I'm probably guilty of this too. It's, um, it's. I don't. I don't want to defend it, but it's a little bit. It's like when I know a lot of the people <laughs> here are from Destiny. It is an easy way sometimes to like help people understand metaphors. But yeah, um, also people just overuse it. Like masturbate. you're like that stupid person from the other day. You know the stupid person the other day that Destiny spoke to. The stupid person. That's all she's doing. That's the thing, right? It's just like lame. So you can replace it, it with any oh, other sure, stupid yeah, yeah. person, but it's just a it's just a Destiny relevant reference. Stupid plus Russian equals Kit Canada. 
Kids can't yeah. do it. Yeah, I'm just some of the stuff you're asking and like laughing about. Like, you, like it's all fun and games. No, you hate all things uh, in someone's, all planes and all dimensions. Someone's, I'm, I'm not, I'm not done. I'm not done, Ralph. Someone's uh, reputation, well, and you're like laughing about how how slandering someone's reputation is like a fun thing to do. Ha ha ha! We all do it. I hope someone does it to you, and I hope it like I hope oh, it fucks you up. Dagger. I mean, yeah, yeah because that's the only way that you people. Too. That's the only way that you people figure out. Yeah, that's the only way that you people figure out that it's actually actually a scum f thing to do to laugh about it and say things in like a. Oh, I don't really think it's that big of a deal. Is it really that big Wait, of a deal? Do you deal? think you do scum things? You're doing the same thing. You're doing the same thing. You're doing the same thing where you act I'm like it's not a big deal. Question. Are you against doing scum fuck right, things? Right, you got to talking over people the entire time. I asked her one question. Like she said, scum fuck is bad. No, no, no. You're. Yeah, no. What you guys are doing is scum fuckery. Yeah. Which would mean that you can't engage in scum fuckery. Right, it's a simple question. I don't it's slander people and falsely out the. Don't I don't mean to people. I don't call. I don't make up shit about people. I don't lie about people. No. I just well, don't make up. Name, right. name, name a fucking lie I've told about anybody. Well, you just walked back three times. You started with one thing. You said like I don't no, slander. I Wait. I mean, I get why she does it. She's gonna say like uh, an eye for an eye with regards to me, but she absolutely lies about me all the time. <laughs> I don't mean slander. I mean, uh, which you know, it's fine. I don't really care. It's 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 funny. Okay. But she, she absolutely does it to me, like, knowingly, to try to prove a point. Uh, this is the scum well, fuck I mean, thing you're doing. Oh, I'm sorry for making an argument for my side of the argument. That defines me as being Wait, no, scum no, no, fuck? no, she didn't say I don't mean slander. She's saying that when she says doing scum fuck thing, she's obviously referring to somebody false me tooing another person. So she's talking well, about she slandering them, throwing false I mean, allegations. I didn't, I mean, me too fuck fantasy right here, so that doesn't, that's not accurate. No, 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 the scum fuck thing that you and this, this chick are doing is, uh, you're, you're, you're laughing about how it's like a, isn't that just what I everyone does? I didn't fucking laugh. I'm laughing, I, I'm laughing single-handedly. Why are you calling me drunk? I'm, because I'm you're accusing me of things, but you're not very Why are you calling me drunk? I was laughing. Why are you calling me drunk? <laughs> Why are you? <laughs> Why are you calling me drunk, Ryle? Uh, because Why are you you're, missing me drunk, you're missing details. You're struggling. Okay, so, no, so, yeah, so obviously, like, like Hellbent is the one. You obviously, Hellbent is the one who is who is like a like jo you know thinks it's funny. She's downplaying it. Then she's refusing to admit that she's downplaying it, pretending like, oh, I didn't do any of that. What me? No way. No, I'm just. I'm a not man. I don't know what I'm doing. I can't tell I'm what I'm doing. Okay, you are, yes, that's the same thing. You are actually. That's the fuck. same thing. You You're think it's funny. Fuck. You think it's funny too. Uh, I recognize a bunch of these names: Lucas, Jason, Ted, Gregor, Sam. So. Throw false allegations at guys. You're a woman. You don't have to worry about this. this is about the time people in Spike probably started talking about it. You're just a woman. Imagine. You guys are dumb fucking women. Yeah, yeah, you're the you can't yeah. Yeah. You can't tell what you're you doing. You don't have morals. Your voice is pure. You I can hear Tom over you here. Are, you are the disgusting type of woman that like should just get the uh, fuck up. Pick me. Your liability. Your liability. You're the kind of woman who will come, who will like falsely accuse someone and, and rely on the fact that they have a vagina uh, to get she's away. She's just with like them. the rest of them, isn't she? Uh, Mattis, don't worry. I'm not interested in your egg shaped boyfriend. Um, well, they, I mean, no, I'm not. I'm not I... <laughs> Sorry. Rude. That was actually rude. I'm okay. not accusing you, Rain, right, because I don't believe that you're a creep, a predator, a sex pest. That's not the word I would use. Uh, as I said, I think you're Good. a cooler, corny, and main. And I think goofing on you for that is funny. I don't think that releasing the DMs was a more correct thing to do. But I'm happy that it happened because it allowed the internet to goof on you. That's my sense. Yes, and, uh, but, uh, and if I am ever in the same saying... situation, then yeah, I wouldn't have a right to spread out over it. Okay, first off, uh, like, if we're just going to be honest, look, I, Sulfur's not in my fucking league, okay? Let's all just be honest for a second. The white trash fuck on the internet is not in my fucking league. Uh... Oh, uh, that's. Uh, very strange. Uh, very strange behavior. This um. Uh, this just is remind. It is just always such a gross thing to do. You're like hitting on. This is just like, hey, you were ugly anyway. Yeah, I was. I wasn't hitting on you. You're fucking fat anyway. It's like th yeah. those are the vibes right here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Gross. Gross. King League, I wouldn't hit on her unironically. Oh. It was a fuck. Oh, everybody knows correct. it was a joke. Bro, she's not in my Say that ever again. No, I'm sorry. Bro. She's I'm sorry. sorry. Like, I don't want to get into I'm going to write. I don't care. Listen, the sofa <laughs> is a better looking than man's by most people's standards. That's just, just like, yeah, most people would look at those two and they would say, sofa is more attractive. Most people. I'm just thinking about that. So the idea that this is a matter of leagues? No. Come on. Be serious. I'm not being mean. I'm not being entirely I, sexist. I'm just I'm making even... a substantive point about what Tom's saying at the moment because he's saying about leagues. Okay, so it has to be mentioned. I'm not even like I'm not gonna try to be weird. I unironically, unless I misunder or misremember the picture of her and sick, I, I think Sass might be better looking than Mantis. Uh, I'm trying to remember. That's all you're too much. Sure. I mean, I don't want to sit here and rape women. I was just yeah. making a substantive response to something Tom said, me personally. If you want to rate women, you can do that, but I won't be partaking because I'm not a sexist. I mean, you literally just... <laughs>
What are you doing? What are you doing to me? You literally just... You actually started it. You piece of shit. You piece of shit, you started it. I'm gonna pretend like I'm gonna hit on this fucking chick over and over. You guys all know it's a joke. You can look at the DMs where I'm asking if I'm a fucking lesbian. You know it's a fucking joke. Pretending is no longer on her. You define all of your actions as jokes if they were to cross any boundaries. Because you define it as, I would never do anything like that, because that would just be crazy. Of course it's a joke. No, wait, that's no, 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 hold on. I've said that even if this wasn't a joke, it didn't cross any boundaries. You know that's true. You know that's true. I did not cross boundaries, even if it wasn't a joke. I've said this over and over. That it's obviously a joke, that I would never hit on her. But, that, like, you can read from the, me saying, am I a lesbian yet? And, and doing, like, a fucking Joey, like, uh, you know, how you doing very, like, uh, you know, uh, like... Um, I don't know, like, a, like right, yeah, it's obviously me. very jokey. What, what, what was your defense to the Kelly stuff, right? Obviously, you would never do that because it crosses boundaries, therefore no, no, it's a joke. Whoa, 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 you wait. define things as a joke the minute wait, they cross boundaries. Wait, wait, and wait, you admitted that you flirt with your girlfriends that no, aren't it's girlfriends. No, hold on, I didn't say that. I said that with the Kelly stuff, even if it was serious, I wasn't, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't uh, lines. No, I said the same thing with the Kelly stuff. I said the same thing with that. I said, even if it was serious, I can still defend it all the same. You're making up. I said, even if this is a joke, I would defend it all the same. I said, even if it wasn't a joke. I don't know. You're saying that I'm playing it off as a joke. I think I do this reflexively, but it is a little bit scummy. It's like, this isn't my position, but I can defend this position. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's just weird. It's just weird. Like, I, I'll i defend that position, but I don't actually stand up. I don't know. It's just weird. Is the one trying to get out of Maybe it's weird when it's like people are accusing you of doing something wrong. It feels weird. Maybe just in general, it's not that bad. But I'm saying that I can defend it just all the even if it wasn't it. a joke. Can defend it, and having a defense is different. Oh my goodness. You want to put everything you're talking about, Ryle? I can no, explain what I said. Ryle, I said you're going to keep talking Ryle, until you ask me a question. I haven't finished generous. asking my question. I heard you're it just all. Me off because you're, you're scared or something. I don't know why you're doing this. I don't know why you keep doing I'm this. Are you afraid of me asking questions? Thank you. Dan and Mantis are well suited. I think, I think they both go into conversations that don't have to be blood sports and can immediately turn them into blood sports. <laughs> I, think they're, I think Dan is a good counterbalance. Um, sorry, not. Just in case Dan's still watching. Obviously, you're much more intelligent than Mantis. That's not my point. I just mean, like, you can you can be very... Just like she can, you can just go hard on people, like, kind of out of nowhere. So it's good. Like, why do you keep doing this? Where you twist around everything? First of all, you just planted a narrative where every time someone says it's a joke, you're just trying to get out of something serious. You know some things can just be jokes, right? I didn't say you know that, it's possible. Way. You know, I didn't say that. Like, if it, you, you're saying you did say, something Mantis? wrong, then suddenly it's a joke. That's not what I said. But he didn't do anything wrong. But that's not what I said, so that works. Wait, no, you were saying that I'm using, like, the joke argument to try to get out of things, as though it's not... Yeah, that's an accurate as... summary. Yeah, that's... That's what that's she's saying. Jesus. That's not what she's That's literally saying. what I just said. Ryle, are you... Ret yeah, I think you need your eyes checked. Yeah, I think you're too low IQ to have this fucking conversation. Uh, All right, I'll need I... to count that high. <laughs> Is there anything out. serious that, like, if you guys just came on here to, like, meme, I, I'm not really interested. Look, I have an attack. Yeah, I, did. I don't know what Ryle wanted. Uh, Dom, do you want to pull Emery in? Because he's been waiting as well. Oh, she, I'm not, okay, I don't why do you keep wanting other people yeah, to come sure. in? Is it because you've run out of fucking to say where you can, like, walk it back and laugh about how funny it is? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Wait, did she just get booted? Yeah. No, she just, hopefully she just ran. Well, no, I booted her. She said she just came here to meme, so I wasn't really interested. Yeah, go fuck yourself. I didn't know she was going to do that. I just, like, I'm just oh so sick of slimy. I'm, I'm sick of these slimy people who, who, no, I'm, just let me say this one thing before you get to okay. the continue yapping. Oh. No, mute this motherfucker. Yeah, I, I just want to say, say what you're going to say. Hold on, Mantis, huh? say what you're going to say, and then, and then Emery go. I'm going to say literally one thing, one sentence. Hold on. Emery, just wait. No. Mantis, finish what you're saying. Okay. So I just want to point out that this is what these motherfuckers do, and they come oh, in she says motherfuckers they... is so <laughs> federal. Sorry, Wait. go ahead. Mm. Hold on. Yeah, Dan, she just got booted. Are you dumb? It wasn't an insult, you fucking oversensitive. No, no, you're just like interrupting. It's annoying. Well, you're not important, <gasps> so it's, it's just a reflex. Are you done? Thank you. So uh, did... these guys come in. They. <laughs> oh, we're only. Really? Okay. So these guys come in. I'm sorry, and they, they, they weasel their way in. They meme on all of this stuff. This is what like people like Rezzy do, Ryle, Emery, you've done it. People do it all the time. I don't know how. Mantis got, she's like, um, she reminds me of like synth. Like, uh, with the debate tactics kind of shit. Like, are you done? And then if the person keeps interrupting, you go, I guess I'll just wait or whatever. You'd like make them feel like an asshole. And then if they don't say anything, you go, oh, thank you. <laughs> it's like, it's a little, she's so got all these little things. Does to you. That's what, what she tries to do to you. Make you, make you stop talking like that. So that happened many I, times. I, maybe old destiny. I feel like that's not something he does anymore. I don't know. Am I coping? I Watch any coping. fanatic conversation. That's exactly how it goes. Is it? Where it's All a right. meme and then it's not. I just, I, yeah, I find that shit. And then it's a meme and then it's not. It's funny <sighs> and then it's serious and then it's not and then it's serious and then it's funny. Like, pick a fucking meme. 
thing example. and stand on your business like you you're like uh flip-flopping around to act like it isn't serious and it doesn't have serious consequences and then you want to come up and talk She's about something anymore, that has serious consequences i'm not talking to help i'm talking to you and emory and rizzy and all the people like you where you just you say one thing and you're talking out of both sides of your mouth stop doing it it's fucking disgusting there are consequences to the shit you say and you know it acting like it's like a joke and it's just hilarious online it's disgusting i hope someone falsely accuses you and it lands and you fucking have to walk around hanging door head and some you're like the of people are telling you chat room by the way every time we walk by you just hear the fuck yapping from the chat room of you yeah because i don't put shit. up with i don't put up with slimy motherfuckers. i don't shut don't my mouth up and take anybody. up the ass like rizzy i don't, don't do that shit. I, I call out people like you you're a slimy Ooh. scum how many people listen to you though i don't give a fuck ah. okay i'm That's saying okay. it okay. can i say anything go bad bitch. okay um i um, I'll, I'll, oh, oh, sorry. Oh. i'm so sorry go ahead emory my fault um i had a conversation today with Rezzy, it was about other things, but you were brought up as an example of someone not to bring around women in other surveys. And I disagreed with him and I said, why? Um, I think- Just to be clear, the, I, I went to watch some of it. Well, no, I just want to tell you real quick, it's, it's relevant. Yeah, sure. I, I went to go watch some of it and Rezzy, I, I watched it on Drazi's side and Drazi mm -hmm. muted it at, literally as soon as like uh, you guys started talking. He like, Rezzy said like, uh, like, oh yeah, no, Tom, Tom was abusive. And then like Drazi muted and walked away and I didn't get to hear anything that you guys said throughout all of that. So, I, so and, uh, I, yeah, I, Mantis heard it, I, I defended you. I don't think you're as horrible to women to the extent of, wow, we need to like keep them away from women like Rezzy is suggesting. Um, but I do think uh, this is not a false accusation necessarily. Of what did Mantis do? I don't know. It's just it's all going over whether Tom's like a dangerous sex pest or whether he's just like somebody who pesters women lightly. I don't know. They're like starting to go over degrees of how dangerous Tom is because some people said Tom was like a danger to women in Discord and that like you they wouldn't invite him to servers. So there's like an argument that happened today like, because of it. Uh, I guess uh, crossing boundaries and having sulfur actually feel like like that was inappropriate. Um, I don't think it's wait, the end of the world. Uh, hold, on, hold, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. One more thing before I end. All right, fine, go ahead. Okay. He's been waiting patiently. God damn. Um, I forgot what I was saying. Uh, I'm so so good. So, you can say nothing of any value. It's so boring. You're, you have no substance in what you say, Emery. Dude, I'm you're so a drunk piece of shit. Oh my God. Cares, you, you guys. Let me fuck up. You f okay. Yeah. All right. I think it's oh sincere God. on uh, Sulphur's part. I don't. I don't think it's insincere, but I also. I also think too that you're hiding under a guise of it was a joke uh, when you say that you were flirting with her. Uh, I don't think it was just a joke. It was like flirty, jokey, but it wasn't like like there was an intent behind it. Was it not? You shot your shot and you failed. Like it's as simple as that. Okay. So one, I, I've said even if it's not like let's say that yes, I, I was serious with it. I would say that this is like a textbook like okay way to hit on somebody, and that I would use this to like show people like hey, you can use this to see like that somebody's uncomfortable, and that even though they're not saying anything explicitly and they're not like telling you anything, that you can read all of the signs here, and that even at the mm -hmm. end where she does explicitly say this is okay to do and that we can do this in the future, that even then you can still see from the rest of the interaction that is probably not a good idea to do in the future, and that like yes, this would be like a great example to use that if we pretended it was serious, that this would be like a, a thing to say yes, like obviously this is. I <laughs> totally reject this, Ramy. <laughs> we just pretend, if we pretend for a moment that I intended to hit on this woman on Discord, if we just pretend that I'm crazy enough to hit on a woman on Discord after meeting her like once, okay, Tom. Right. Cool. But not only that, it's like he says it's like an appropriate conversation. He like he like respected. No, it's not like it's an appropriate conversation to show somebody who is like violently autistic and can't read signs whatsoever. Like, like you could say, I mean, look, like, cut like, off. look, yeah. Yeah, because she's clearly, like, uncomfortable for multiple lines of that conversation before she has to make it explicit and say, like, yeah, Tom, just so you know, I do like you, but also, like, it's not anything serious. And then he guilts her into saying, like, no, it's okay, like, you're cool or whatever, and it's okay, I'm not mad, it's it's all right. But she, he, like, just, guilts I, her into it. It's not even he's a... Doing like even, a, he's doing, like, he's doing another... Uh, I feel like this is a destinyism here. This, this whole, uh, you know, if I... If I ever speak to a woman, I make sure she knows three best days in advance that we're we're having sex, whether she likes it or not. Like this whole fucking thing, isn't it? It's like, um, oh, every time I I engage with people, I always communicate perfectly openly. I'm super open. I I tell everyone everything. I'm super open. About all my intentions. Like, yeah, you can say that, but it just doesn't come through in in your actions or your interactions. People seem to always come away from interaction. I, I, like listen, that, that wasn't. Let's put it this way. If um, if Destiny and Tom's situations as creators were flipped completely somehow, some wacky world where that happened, I think uh, yeah. Mr. Girl would have taken this guy down 100%. There would have been a oh, whole yeah, bunch of women who said, like, yeah, there would have been a ton of women. <laughs> yeah, like, there would have been a ton of women who would have come and been like, yeah, he was super pushy and inappropriate. So, like, yes, none of the actions. He's saying the same things, but none of the actions underlying yeah. match up at all. Yes. Like, I... 
I'm trying to think. They're like, they're definitely the things with like lav. Like I thought the lav stuff when she leaked those DMs, it was all like, okay, not the sex shit, but in terms of what he'd said about her coming on stream, I that was like way more above board than I would have ever suspected. Um, personally, you don't have to agree with that. I know you're not a huge fan, but like, I was that the one where I said, "Welcome to the Orbit Club." So that one. Uh, well, those sets of DMs, but like also where he was like, "Okay, here's." Like, this is completely disjoint from sex. Here's, like, what I'd expect on stream and nothing ever happening on stream, blah, blah, blah. Like, the way he'd explained all of it just seemed, like, far more above board and, like, clear that, like, hey, we need to have an, an established boundary here. I don't know. Personally, sure. that's... I I didn't expect it to be um, that clear. Like, and... Yeah, that's... I, I don't think Tom... Uh, I think, I think that's that. about what I expected, but sh yeah, sure. All right, fair enough. <laughs> I think we can both come together and agree that I don't think Tom's that clear. I don't think he, he acts that way with anybody and he says it, but then you get the DMs and the DMs are not not the same at all, in my opinion. Isn't the way to go. As somebody yeah. who has like yeah, said numerous times on my own streams that it's weird as fuck for guys to like think they can turn women straight and shit like that, that yes, I think it would be insane to believe that I was being serious. One. Two, I I I I think that it's pretty obvious from the DMs that it's just not serious, that I'm not actually trying to get anything from her. But three, and most importantly, she used those to call me a pushy sex freak and a sex pest. So that, like, you cannot, like, take what she put out as though, hey, Tom, it's, I mean, you really did shoot your shot. That's not what, the, what they were put out to say. It wasn't put out to say, hey, Tom's had a when he hits on women, guys. That's not. Well, I mean, what, what she's saying in terms of if she read sex pest into some of your other DMs, and then she reevaluates a situation where she you she knows full well, or sorry, you know full well that she's a lesbian. You're referencing the fact that she's a lesbian and still hitting on her multiple times despite her soft putting you down and then hard putting you down, right? Sorry, despite her despite her soft putting you down, you continue to pressure, and then she has to hard put you down. Like she might reinterpret that as you being a weird, pushy sex freak, um, after seeing how you interact with other women. I think that's I think that's like a reasonable um, I think it's like excessive to go online and like leak DMs about him. But I, I, if she just cut you off and been like, "You're you're fucking weirdo," like I don't want to talk to you anymore, I think that would have been completely reasonable. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I was I was waiting to see if you had any. Yeah. So he's he's framing it as if like she's doing something completely insane here. I think maybe publicizing it is a little too far. But like calling you a weirdo isn't I, really that. I far. feel like just I mean. Yeah, I don't think I would say that publicizing it is like well, leaking DMs, you probably shouldn't do generally. But I also don't like I don't have like a huge if they're not spinning it to make like some massive accusation, like I mean I what I don't know what Sulfur said when she released the DMs to be fair. So I mean that could change my opinion on it, but but if she's not like spinning it to like say it like more than it shows, then I would just say, well, well don't trust it. Don't trust her in DMs. Then I mean, that, it's not like a huge moral thing. It's just like, okay, well, this person shows their DMs. I mean, they they can show the conversations they've had if they really want to, I guess. But I would never f trust this person ever. Yeah, I would say that I think the reason that shit got released is because of Tom's like insistence that he's never done anything wrong in DMs, like repeatedly, right? That like. He tried to explain away like his interactions with Seven. Tried sure. to explain away his interactions with uh, Sass, and then yeah. he's just like, "I've never been inappropriate. No woman would ever say I've been inappropriate." And after seeing both of those, and she reanalyzes those DMs, she could easily go, "Oh, this actually, you know, I gave him the benefit of the doubt because I was like, he's drunk or whatever." But now, in retrospect, he kind of he really actually was inappropriate here, and I think other people should know that he's kind of mischaracterizing his interactions with other women. Yeah, sure. That like, makes I, sense. I, you could maybe justify from that point of view. I think that seems reasonable. But then, I don't know. I don't what know. that was put out to say. That was put out to call me a sexual harasser and a sex pest and to say that I was pushy. Nothing about any of that fucking shit in those DMs is pushy at uh, what, what whatsoever. Like, it's obviously joking when I'm sitting there saying... It's... This is wrong. It's pushy, and when, when she goes, hey, like, when she has to hard let him down, he goes on to further, like, make her feel like an asshole for being like that. And get her to go, oh, no, you know, we're okay. It's all good, buddy. Like, he, he actually goes into, like, full-on guilt trip mode. I, I don't know why he's Oh, come on, this. just, like, you know, tell me, tell me you're denying me, like, or whatever it is. Tell me you're rejecting me already, come on. Like, th no way in the fucking world, if I was being serious, would I actually say something like that? That's fucking retarded. No fucking 
shot if I'm actually trying to get with a girl? Am I saying, just reject me already. Just tell me you're rejecting me. Like, I thought she was playing along for a minute. As soon as I, it was obvious she wasn't playing along, because you can read her other DMs. It does look like she's playing along. She's saying, yeah, Tom, you are a lesbian. Technically, you like women too. And I'm like, yeah, see? And I'm like, it looks like we're playing along. But then as soon as she says something where it seems like, oh, sh maybe she's not playing along, I immediately. I want to. If anybody other than Mantis or Tom have that interpretation, I'd love to talk to that person. I know. <laughs> I don't know. This Stop. is such code. And then just said, sorry, I'm being a dick. Like, I was just being a jerk. Yeah, okay. I, I understand. I understand. She's, you're drunk flirty. I get it. It's a little jokey. But there might be a part of you that's like, oh, man, like, that would be cool if she actually, like, was into me in some way. That would be cool. No, you Marie. He just uh, explained. When she's just responding to you, playing around, she's letting you go oh. gently, which I think you understand. Okay, but uh, uh, even no, if that's the case, no, no, yeah, it doesn't matter. I don't think it's extreme. As, I, don't, I don't think it's as extreme. It's I think not it's wrong the thing, that he's something akin to, uh, he's, uh, he's a sexist. He should not be allowed around with women, anything like that. I think that's wrong. And, um, I mean, at a certain point, yeah, it's kind of funny, but no, like, I wouldn't endorse calling you, like, some uh, fucking Me Too sex pest. Or anything. Yeah, so it's wrong of her part, to falsely part, accuse I, me and yeah. put and try to Me Too me. You condemn mm -hmm. her and her actions for what it is that she did, correct? I, if I have to condemn it right now publicly, yes. Like, I think that's wrong. Like, I think it's right. an over exaggeration. What was the false of, like, accusation? Uh, 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 what, what? Um, I guess the sex pest thing. Still want to... Okay, yeah, still on that term, okay. <laughs> I, I think that's what it is, yeah. Disgusting that, is what it is. Yes, I agree. I, I would actually agree with that. I do think it's pretty disgusting, yes. Yeah, I think people need to be saying how fucking disgusting it is. If you're going to come out here and, and say all oh, this shit is funny and we it's don't funny... We short-term memory, like... so we don't need to repeat it all the time. Well, I mean, it is, is short-term memory, though, because... Because it seems went... like it... I don't know. It seems like that relies on his intent not being to actually flirt with her. But how do you say someone's making a false accusation against me when the reason it's false is because your intent was different? Like, it's about a state of mind, right? How is she supposed to... No, for sure. If she interprets it that way, it's well, hard for you to say that's a false accusation, right? And, well, and I think the other thing is it perfectly explains how it changed, right? How she felt comfortable yeah. about it, and then she sees, and she updates time, how, yeah. what she thinks about him, and then she's like, oh, I'm reading different intent here now. Yeah. When Lav does something uh, to Destiny, nice everybody's to happy to like freak out about it and make a huge deal. D Chud loves to do his re reviews and make a big deal about some woman falsely accusing a guy. But then when it's me, it's like a, it's a funny joke and it's all ah ha ha. Let's let's show Sulfur's uh, Me Too and Tom and let's let's call him abusive and act like this is super shit. disgusting and like he's doing horrible shit here. Like it's it's weird as fuck that everybody gets to run around like slandering me because it's me. It's Tom, so we just get to make up shit to the ends of the earth. And also, right, that... one. Yeah. hang on. Also, right, one. I called you a slimy scum fuck because of the shit you're saying. Why are you calling me drunk? That has nothing to do with anything. You're just being. You sound drunk. Because you're a f***ing retard. Okay. <laughs> 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 Question two. <laughs> Sorry, Emery. Emery just tags in with the steel chair, hits Mantis in the back oh, of the head, God. tags back out. <laughs> Which doesn't sound drunk. Only prophecy here. You're an amazing racist re. W boyfriend. W wait night. Or no one, no one respects, no one likes besides Tom. <laughs> Which I thankfully, had Tom has. I had the conversation with you and Rezzy, and Rezzy was uh saying uh, eight all that stuff about all of that stuff about uh who's that? Okay, True. all the stuff about uh not even having women around. Um, wow. but oh fuck, I totally forgot what I was gonna say because I had to interrupt you so many fucking times. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. That's your debate tactics right there, where you're, like, doing those little clips. You just actually threw her off, and she's now lost. Good one. Emery, you realize you keep calling her racist on something that never happened, right? Like, you... you Dude, don't, I, I, don't front. You're, actually, you're lying here. It, no, no, it never happened. Example, it no, did not well, happen. She called, she called Smith the N-word directly. No, she did not. She did. It never happened, Emery. Yes, It never happened. Oh, wait. No, she... Can we get Mantis in the Discord? <laughs> She didn't. Somebody needs to go pull up the she, what, she said the N word. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Hey, wait shut up. Hold up. Hold on. She said the N word with the soft A she, uh, it, to, to Emery. And she the, kept calling him a monkey, too. Like, what do you think that She means? didn't keep calling him a monkey. He she said, well, she's, she's, hold on, hold oh on. She didn't, hold okay, on. Okay, shut why, up. This hold why, on. This is hold on. Wait, hold on. Yes, I understand. Did I mishear him? I thought he said Smith. I thought Smith. I thought he's Smith. Smith. Oh. Okay, I was like, she called Smith the heart the uh, heart heart? That's fucking hilarious. Autistic Black, Five Nights at Freddy's fan. He's saying around okay. Tom's community. Yeah, yeah. No, it's fine. I just, I thought she called Smith the, like, hard R. It's like, gee, that's... It's fine. Just shut up. Clip. Shut up. I, the, I have all the fucking receipts. I can pull it up right now. I have it you, you on me right here. You pulled it up right disingenuously the last time people didn't call you out on it, and they should have. For what? Yeah, like, How? They didn't call him out. For yeah, what? no, calling, they sorry, calling a black person that is pretty fucked up. Also, the monkey comments are pretty fucked up for that black guy. Um, yeah, she actually sh shares some shit with Rolo. Did you see those Rolo DMs or not DMs? The Rolo alt account. Anyone show you that yet? Uh, oh no, Cherry mentioned it. I, I haven't seen it. Though. Uh, oh, okay, good. Did, uh, well, well, so Tom, I believe you actually there were people in your general chat, and then like you you had pulled up like a second meme 
by Mantis, right? Because some guy was. Right, are we going into Actually, I'll, I'll send it to you right now. You can take a look at it while we're covering this. Are we going well. into stuff? Hold on, hold on. Hey, Mantis, stop, stop talking. Stop Mantis, stop. 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 What? Is, what? what, 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 what? I, I'm doing it to everybody now. Shut up. I'm going to start muting people. Ryle, what, what, what is it that you're talking? You're talking about when I said that there was only one complaint about her in mod chat, and then one of my mods came back and said, no, there was another thing. There was the monkey thing. And then I went and pulled that up afterwards. You're talking about that, right? Yeah, I was yes. giving you credit. Okay, okay. So, yeah, so we went back to that the next day because I, I hadn't seen that. So I went back to that the next day and we went through the context of it where she was in an argument with Smith. She says, all right, I got to go. I'm leaving. He says, keep running. And she posts a, a, a meme or a gif of a monkey running away. Meaning, what do you, that think, what do you think that means? It means that who's running, no, Emery? Who's, who's the person that's running, oh Emery? Oh my God, dude. Emery. Who's the person that's running, Emery? Answer the question. Who's the person that's running, Emery? Answer it. You, well, Emery, you're, you hold on. Me, what happened uh, to being ingenuous? What to happened to not being disingenuous, Emery? What happened? Yeah, who's the person that's running, Emery? She's calling Smith a monkey running, right? Answer no, the question. No, he, em, Smith said no, you. you hold on, Joe. Shut up. Stop Smith said. I, can exactly Smith, I, did. I don't care. I don't care. I Smith said. Smith. I don't care. Smith said keep running, and she posted a gif of a monkey running. She is the monkey. She's the one who's running. And then she left, and she didn't come back. Meaning that she ran. She was like, "Yes, I'm running," because they had been debating for a while. She said she was leaving. He said keep running, and so she posted a gif. This is this is the one person who's just here for Tom's insights on the world. Good path. You people just clog up Tom's stream. <laughs> This guy, he's the one guy. He's just here. He's here for it. He's like so pissed that there's content now. Of a monkey God. running away. It was running away. And yeah, so and she's calling was... him the N-word like previously before. She's making a racist joke while saying look, she's running. What do you fucking think? Look, what? I don't like, give a fuck. This is I the most disingenuous fucking, fucking argument. Me. Come on. I don't... I, okay, well, you got the monkey gift wrong, but it doesn't fucking matter. I don't care if you think I'm a racist. I don't care if you call me fucking racist. Why are you, why I, are you trying to, to, why are you trying to defend yourself I'm going right to, now? If, if you I am 100. You're a racist. Just say, accept you're a racist. That's fine. But I don't give a fuck about this. I didn't yes, want you do. Fucking you should be arguing with me about it. So of I, mean, I would say, no, if that I'm makes somebody a racist, I'm also a racist, because I've also done these things. I, I feel like this is pretty yes, pretty common and acceptable in these spaces, except for when Mantis does it. I don't give a shit. I'll say the N-word. I'll type it out. I don't give a shit. You can call me racist. I don't care. But what I don't like is what happened. What happened? I'm gonna go back to the actual point of this instead of like going down a stupid zone. Wait, why did you argue with me about it? Like, some that makes no sense. I why didn't. Are you Tom with me? did. Why? You I just embrace it. Just embrace it. Well, Tom would be giga chat just being like, yeah, I accept, I accept I'm being a racist right now. Oh, you are a hiding under a veil. Of no, I'm a uh, yes, I will continue I to say it's not being a racist. It's what everybody does. It's fucking weird to say, oh, man, this is being racist. This is a, like, it's really weird when Mantis does it. Jews, no, Emory, would that be okay? being... I don't think everybody's racist, it's though. I don't think I'm racist. If everyone started killing Jews, would that be okay? Just because the majority does something, that doesn't mean it's okay. Well, that's that's what we're talking like about. It. Emory, I don't care. You don't have that's to like it. Why I make up until we get past this. I'm going back to the racist stuff. That's what I was going to say. Fuck you. Uh, and so, how do you know? I'm not fucking drinking, dude. Because I'm like over five months over now. That's all you I get. Don't believe you. All you're gonna do to like discredit anything I fucking say because you can't engage with anything. I fucking it was just a minute ago. She's saying that you guys are slandering people, and then you keep calling her drunk and saying that she's uh, that she's like drinking. And she shit. sounds like, drunk, dude. But uh, yeah. I don't know. We've got some old timey racism going on. That's awesome. What's that? That is awesome. He's using the NRO word. That's freaking epic. Oh yeah, it's Rolo, white yeah. privilege are both false narratives. Wait. Make and pick cotton again. Okay. Cool. <laughs> but hold on we agree that like that that alt that's definitely him right i feel like that's 100 percent yeah, him that that's like the most obvious shit in the world yeah uh i can't wait i'll i'll send that shit to the tree of logic probably tonight and just see she wants to go in on that that's pretty funny i don't like he's so bro the racism's like old timey and it's like so it's like he's being racist without being funny which takes like you have to try so hard to be racist without being funny. Uh, some of these are kind of funny. Monkey's gonna <laughs> monkey. I mean, no, I don't find it that money that funny. Gorilla gonna gorilla. Is that tour already? Yeah, She's gonna go over it tomorrow. All things. right. All right. Yeah, uh, you guys are tripping. We we argued over whether you'd be like, "Oh, this is based. I like it more now," or whether you'd be like, "Oh, this is weird." I stand with Gorilla. I stand with Gorilla. Yeah, that's, that's what I said. <laughs> You sounded drunk last time I heard you on a stream on Kangle. You did sound drunk. You admitted to yeah, me. Was, Wait, yeah, was that what I said? I might have said. I don't know. Yeah. That might yeah, not be what you, I said. Yeah, That's the difference, is because I, like, I'm pretty like, open about it. You're trying to hide it. All right, so Rizzy made a claim today, and it's the, one of the dumbest things I've ever heard to like substantiate his Tom is inappropriate with women claim. He essentially said, I'm, I'm going to paraphrase the fuck out of this, but he essentially said that Tom is an aggressor on women. He's inappropriate with women. Do, I, I wonder, do you think disagreeing with people who are lying about you is aggressing upon them? No. But, and to be clear, Rezzy was way more aggressive in that conversation. Like, he was actually yelling at Sulphur for the way that she was acting and how she wouldn't answer questions. I did not yell at her at all. He's the only person who yelled at her. Yet he kept saying yeah. that I was being aggressive in that conversation. I have weird. a serious yeah. question about that. I'm not defending Rezzy's position here because I don't agree with him. I have a serious question about that. So when you were ending that stream in the Halloween stream and she was, you know, making a joke about being a lesbian or something. And she said, well, obviously my last husband was a 
a man, right, or whatever, uh, and you go, so you're saying there's a chance, right? And you laugh about it. And then the call disconnects. And then you're like, yeah, there's still a chance, man. And then Rezzy goes, well, she's, I don't know if she's your type of girl. And then you kind of have a back and forth about whether or not she'd be into you. Mm -hmm. Is that not indicative of being or, or wanting to pursue a relationship? If you would take that about all of the other women that I say similar things about, I, like, but you would have to be consistent on that. And that, yes, that I'm into Lav, Katie, Lauren, De Laguna. Like, yeah, I would say, no, this is the way that I interact with women on my streams. And that, like, women coming onto my streams know that, that I'm going to have, like, 40 them. back and forths with them. And that that's, like, a part of the content. Out. It's just a joke. Okay. Well, well no, it's not even just a joke. Inside. It's, like, part of the content is that, like, we're gener yes. generally, I'm flirting with women. And yes. well, they're... that's my accusation is that you blur that line and that lets you say that, yes, well, I is... was just joking. I wasn't actually making a move on you and kind of mind Okay, but the, but the problem is is that sulfur would be one person ever that I've actually come on to. Uh, like, if we want to say again, if we want to say that, consistent across everyone. Yes, but I'm saying that. <laughs> no, 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 hold on, hold on. No, I, I'm saying about the way that I talk about women, saying that like because I, I would always say these sorts of things as like buying into the simp meme that like I'm in love with all of the women that are on my streams, blah blah blah. But I'm saying that actually going into somebody's DMs and actually pursuing them, that sulfur would be. Tom's content is flirting with women is wild. He, hmm, well, I guess he does kind of flirt. Doesn't he? I think he kind of flirts. Is it flirty when you wrote all those women's l names out on that list and then tied it back to a rapist meme? Was that flirting? Uh, yes. I think that was pretty awesome flirting, you personally. <laughs> w flirting, okay. That's what uh, I usually do. When I, when I like a woman, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to rape you. That's usually yeah. my first move. I mean, uh, yeah, fuck. So many true crime memes, okay? Clearly works for some <laughs> people, okay? That's all I gotta say. It, works it just for, works. Okay, yeah, yeah. That's it, all. it just... Okay, alright. One <laughs> woman that that's all ever women. happened with. She would be alone. She would be by herself as the first woman on the internet that I've ever gone into DMs to hit on. Um, and then every single other woman. Sure it's that? the same exact memes on stream. Yes, I'm positive. 100% positive. Yes. Well, but you would say that if you call someone Pookie Bear or like, you know, like uh, pet names and stuff like that, you would, be, you would say that's a joke, right? If I called them that? Yes, if you use flirtatious language, you would couch a lot of that in it's a joke because that's how your stream rolls. So there's is, by definition, a blurry line between what's a joke and what isn't. Well, Even again, on streams, nefarious. on streams, there, it's a little bit different because if it, it would have to play out in actuality somewhere. Like having a relationship with somebody just on stream isn't a relationship. I don't, that didn't, that was a meaningless distinction. What do you mean? No, it's not. What are you talking about? Ass on stream versus off stream, it doesn't really change whether it's... Well, sure, but that, that, like, that's, that's not me pursuing somebody, and the conversation was about whether or not I was pursuing somebody and actually into them. Grabbing a girl's ass is still sexual harassment regardless of whether or not... I know, grabbing you a girl's ass is... Hold, hold on. You're, you're grabbing a girl's ass is still sexual harassment because I'm actually... Like, it's not even sexual harassment. It's like assault because you're actually physically engaging with the person at that point. So it's not like a... It's not like a, What was a, the meaning of my analogy, Tom? Because you're picking it apart, but I don't think... Because on whether or not it's a joke means that it's just... That it's like means nothing now. No, you had torn apart what I was saying by saying, well, what happens on stream versus what happens off? Well, no, what I'm talking are your about. Lips on Correct. The microphone? You yes. Sound like your yes. Lips are on I, uh, I was saying I that. Hold, 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 yes. I, hold on. I was saying that because it only happens on stream, it's obvious that it's a joke. Because if it if it wasn't a joke, that means that I would be pursuing this off stream now. This would be something that would actually be happening in actuality somewhere and not just on, uh, on in a performative too. space. Right, but I'm saying that if it doesn't, if it only exists on stream, then it's not like but there's I can't not prove anything off stream. So why would we even bring that into the lexicon? You, I, that's, I'm, that's my point is that you would but have yeah, to. You can avoid. Yeah, it's weird that he turns you down, Dan, just because I like I. It didn't seem like you were louder than anybody else, so it's not like it helps Mantis not get interrupted. There's a whole black area that you can live in that nobody can access except yourself. Okay, but otherwise, the the story is I just can't flirt with women on stream because now otherwise it's just no. I'm Are telling you, no, now? I'm telling you that in act now that the other the other option is that I if I just flirt with women on stream because you never know what's happening off stream in in DMs that now you can just start no, to assume things or you posited off stream as some important point to bring up. But and I think we're just bringing that up because it's something that I can't even access. So why are we now leaning it's into so the artistic. part? Oh my well, goodness! Because my point is okay. Because my point oh, is is that whether oh, or not because me. my point is is that whether or not it's a joke is kind of proven in the fact that even when they flirt back with me, it never turns into anything off stream. It never turns into something in DMs, and that anybody that that and I've Wait, said before, like yes, I've had like back and forths with women. So um, I feel like this is precisely why um, Sulfur might have been felt like it was appropriate to delete those DMs. Because he'll just he'll just lean in shit, lean into shit that's like false, but he's saying like privately this has never happened, and she's like, well, no, it has happened privately. Why are you lying? Why are you just lying? Yeah. Um, so like you lie about shit that happens in DMs. You could argue that creates like a somebody could feel like a duty to correct on that.
uh, yeah. in so, uh, in DMs and things, but that flirting. I, I, at the time, yes, I, and it seemed as though she was she knew it was a joke, and the fact See, that she continued you, to pursue it's a, such a blurry line. You don't have any clear lines; they're all blurry. They're all well. Blurry. I would say yes, but again, I would say the fact that she continued to pursue a friendship with me afterwards, and continued to want to jump into private calls with me so off stream, streamer, and continue to engage with me. Right? But she she's not a streamer, so it doesn't matter. She doesn't need those resources. She's not looking for those. They're of no value to her. I know you're like I think I've heard you say like some PUA stuff, so I'm sure you would agree that a woman just gravitates towards someone with resources. I don't know. Is Wait, that the I, of you? Can I? Can I don't. Can I, 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 I don't believe that, but I do believe that like there's an incentive. If you're helping, you're not helping me. Just... <laughs> no, I'm. I'm asking. Do you That's, think yeah. what Sulfur did was genuine? Like you don't think she was disingenuous? Are you for real? I can probably agree with you. Yes. <laughs> then shut the fuck up about any of this. She's disingenuous. Uh, yeah, see, disingenuous on one thing, I can. Hell yeah, way to go, Mantis. Up so, I, I, she is disingenuous about this whole thing. So why are you trying to talk about how it was inappropriate? It wasn't inappropate. It was something that happened. It was like a flirty thing. She obviously took it seriously. It immediately stopped. He didn't keep going, keep pestering, keep doing anything. In any real life, any situation, why if that was happening to me, it, and I said, Mantis, hey, I don't Mantis. like this, and then they stopped, why then it's not a fucking big it? deal. You're turning it into a fucking huge deal. You're doing this you know for no reason. I didn't bring any of this up. Uh, you just Tom. Really? I know it was Rewind only 30 minutes ago. But... I mean, I think... Tom, one, one... That's kind of true, but it's ignoring the fact that when she openly identifies as a lesbian and tells Tom she's a lesbian, and he opens the conversation by acknowledging that he knows that fact, it's like a little different. Like, she's sort of already turned him down, categorically. So he's already pushing a boundary when he starts the conversation with that flirty shit. One piece of advice is, um, if you're uh, talking about something ha happening right now where she's accusing you of something, it's probably best you don't make a comment uh, along the lines of calling her trailer trash that you wouldn't have uh, slept with if, um, if you're talking about how you weren't flirting with her. Well, I'm sorry, but once somebody has that, false, no, 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 no. Once somebody has false me to me, f that f I don't give a fuck how I talk about her. Once she has false me to me and is that big of a piece of shit, I have all the right to talk about her. Uh, we respect women in this space. Don't use the c word. However, the fuck I want from now until the ends of the earth, because she is the lowest piece of scum that has ever existed. Sounding, 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 and this and is part of my public like, reputation. Is that I will push back against really people who are false me tooing people, and the rest of you guys will kind of like you know play these gray bad. zones and shit like that. Bad, Tom. I can agree with you that it, shut up, then Mantis. Nobody's talking to you ever. Stop enabling false accusers. Nobody's talking. Stop enabling false accusers. Stop enabling false accusers. Stop fucking enabling them. You freeze? Like, like, uh, she's not wrong. Like, literally, I'm, by like it being brought up over and over and it, using so it for I an argument. I was gonna say that she interrupt. Uh, go ahead. I was just gonna say, like, was, by, by, even even the fact I, I, I okay, Sulfur was probably out of line. I was just saying you're giving but, her ammo. Then, but, then, then leave it there, Kyle. Mantis, that's not a fucking period. You dumb whore. Drop it then. <laughs> Drop it there. Stop yapping. So, so it's okay to rape then. Mantis pro rape. Let's go. Who raped? Ryle, who raped? You know, wouldn't we all lay it out? Lay it out, motherfucker. Because if you're going to say it like that, that it doesn't, yeah, the it argument out. doesn't make sense. You keep saying pro rape, but we're talking about you're words and things so that I've said no, about her. And, you got, no, and I'm not no, lying. No, I'm no. not defaming her. I'm saying my honest opinion. Uh, but you guys are using point. You're missing okay, the point. Okay, the point motherfucker. When she says, she asked me, is Sulfur out of line doing X? And I agree. Then Mantis tells me, then shut the fuck up forever. And what the point is, is that she's about saying this that. Shut up, you dumb. Oh my god. There's a period coming. I'm getting on the finish. Mantis, let him finish. He's going to lose it on a woman. I love it. You can't be mean to a woman, Ryan. That's uh, akin to rape. Mask off, Ryan. Yell at a woman. Do it. Do you think yelling was what I was thinking about in that moment? Okay. What What are you talking about? The, what is What is akin so to rape? When, yeah. So, so when Mantis is saying that, like, she's when when I agree that a person has done a bad thing, she then responds by saying, "Dismiss the rest of all of it." And all I'm saying by saying that the rape thing is the analogy is, is that well, if she's saying, based on that person doing one bad action, then I can't talk about anything else. Well, then okay. Well, fuck it. I'll rape and kill people. Like, because what she's saying is wipe everything else off the table. She did a false accusation. Everything else is. Covered. Yeah, but the difference That's is the that end. I am getting. For saying things that are my honest opinion, I'm not slandering her. I'm not lying about her. I understand. I understand. But the problem is that I'm getting sh for some sort of like optical thing where they're like, "Tom, it's a woman. Why would you say mean things about a woman? You you can't do that. She me too, you Tom. You can't say mean things about somebody that false me too, you Tom. We all know she's a horrible piece of shit. Why would you say horrible things about a horrible piece of shit, Tom? Yeah, it is optical. You saying we don't have a problem with you saying mean things? We're literally saying I'm telling you, I wouldn't even rape her, and you guys are getting upset about it. And I'm saying I'm not going to rape her. No, you literally said I wouldn't have sex with her because she looks like trailer trash. But that's because. That yeah, sounds like you, somebody who got, look, I'm not saying hey, that like, it sounds like Cope, or someone who got rejected, because that's what uh -huh. people get, like, young kids, right, when they get first rejected, they go, F that bitch, right? So when you play into it, we're not even saying, like, don't mm -hmm. fucking insult you. we're saying, bro, this isn't a good look. Like, it's like, it doesn't look good on any front. Oh, nobody cares about uh, optics, you Mantis. fucking loser. No, I'm, I'm sorry, but yeah, once somebody has false me to me, like, I'm allowed to talk about their looks. I'm sorry, in general, I'm yeah, not going to talk about women's looks. I, in general, no, no, in general, I'm not going to talk about a woman's looks. I'm, I'm not going to do it, and I'm not going to insult their looks, and I'm not going to, like, do any of those things. But, yeah, like, yeah, if they're if they're going to false me to me and be, like, that horrible of a person, yes, I think at that point they're they're opening else. the door. Why is? Yeah, I'm sorry. She's a fucking trash piece of shit scum fuck like you two. 